Whoa, whoa, balls. Hello. 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 Hey, hey everybody. everybody. I'm back. So close back. back. Yeah. Ah. back. Do, 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 do. Um, welcome everybody to Dungeon Select. Uh, oh, shit. The Yo, nerdy D and D show where a bunch of us get together and just ramble on like idiots for about four hours uh, at a time. Um, first of all, I would like to start with saying that this weekend marks Dungeon Select's third birthday, third anniversary. Woo! Which is why I'm super discourse? ecstatic that uh, what? Do we do discourse on the anniversary? Uh, I think we may, have, we may have accidentally done that and kind of forgot about it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey. Oh, well. But uh, I'm nice, that's why I'm ecstatic to see the full party here. Everybody's here for this uh, third birthday session, I suppose. We could we could dub it. Um, I did this yesterday, but I'm going to do it again for those that weren't there. Uh, I want to thank y'all, whether you're a new viewer or someone that has been here since the beginning or someone that just kind of trickled in as we went for the ongoing support. Uh, for this show. I really appreciate it. I pour my heart and soul into uh, this project and this has quickly become the highlight of my week uh, as uh, as this project has gone on. I am very grateful to have a set of players that allow me to uh, do all of this and guide them through stories and worlds of my own creation. I'm very grateful to have people watching and 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 uh, Supporting us the way y'all have been doing and continue to do. Uh, the guest players that have been here throughout the first campaign and that will be here throughout the second campaign uh, as we as we continue on. The people that have taken the DM chair for some one shots and whatnot on this channel, uh, i.e. James or Laura. Really appreciate all of you for just supporting the fuck out of what we do here, what I try to do here. And I really appreciate that. So thank you. Ethan's mad at you now because you didn't mention him as a guest DM. Oh, sorry, and Ethan. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's fine. I DM'd no, on a different Ethan, channel. Clearly. Ethan. Ethan also DM'd. Sorry, guys. Shit, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, I started oh, no, you laughing DM'd, as soon as I saw Ethan's Hades face just on around. This channel, he did, he did. Yeah. Yeah. No, I and thought Ethan. I'd do like sorry, the, the funny bad. joke of mock offense and Soko <laughs> took it legitimately. Um, but no, I know. I just wanted uh, to point I'm, it out. I'm very grateful and, and thank you all. I want to thank you all, including all of you here in the call, for uh, supporting what I do and allowing me to take you on this journey with me. I said yesterday, thanks for DMing us, you freak. Yeah, what after, the hell is after wrong doing with it, you? I've been for two and a half years, you're like, I checked that into my veins again, boy. <laughs> uh, you really did. Yeah, like, yeah, let's do it again. I did. Uh, let's do it again. Let's do it bigger and better. Its own channel. Yeah. Uh, podcast versions, uh, all of that stuff. We're doing, we're, we're, uh, we've evolved Go as a campaign hard. over the past evolved. three years. Uh, everyone has become a lot more comfortable with each other, which allows for much deeper role play. Everyone has take a, like grown as a player, but also started to take this a lot more seriously, which has allowed us to step our game up when it comes to the YouTube side of things. Now also release our show in audio only form uh, on wherever the frick you get your podcasts. There's there's a plethora of platforms Everywhere. out there now that we uh, are accessible on. Uh, uh, having mentioned awesome. the YouTube. Just a brief announcement about stuff like that. Um, yeah. I released uh, or uploaded the Baldur's Gate episode that was last streamed. Mm. Uh, but it starts a little bit differently because I edited together what is kind of a highlight reel for the first five minutes and then it oh, jumps no. into the actual gameplay. A highlight reel of being nice. <laughs> of being fucking annoyed and yep. beamed about the fact that the game didn't want to fucking load. Oh, yeah, I'm playing King of the Hill while Ethan couldn't connect. Or that you lost <laughs> three hours. I literally have save. a section that is just called the Battle for King of the Hill, which is every single fight you guys had over being on top of the hill. <laughs> Shit, dude. Love it. That's Duke awesome. absolutely won, by the way. Right so <laughs> that's, fucking, that's um, fucking great, dude. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. gonna edit it even more, and we'll probably put it on like Twitter and Reddit. So. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. That's that. Um, I do I have any announcements regarding. I uh, to mean tomorrow, <laughs> Baldur's Gate will be back, and hopefully we'll actually be able to fucking play the video game. But no. I mean, the only reason we weren't here last week was because you were sicky wicky. So. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm still like not feeling great. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but uh, I feel better. So. What is oh your God, playing next, Divinity? Oh, voiceover. 
Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, so um, tomorrow we're finally going to get back to Divinity. Uh, to Baldur's Gate, sorry. Mm -hmm. And about 30 minutes after that doesn't load, we're going to move over to Divinity. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. That's, that's the plan. Are you guys almost uh, finished with Baldur's Gate? Yeah, I think... We're just gonna explore oh. the Underdark a little bit more, and then we're gonna probably hit a wall that's like, Oh, you can't go here in the early access, dab, and then we're not Oh, done. yeah. I don't know how much they've added since I played, but it... it I, I think... don't think, content-wise, it's expanded mm. at all. Mm. It's just yeah. been fixing the game. Uh, and I <laughs> yeah. think they added classes, right, maybe? Yeah, but... they added, like, druids and shit, so they've yeah, added some yeah. classes, but content-wise... But as far as the play area, God, I want yeah. the full game, dude. <clears throat> Me too. But yeah, um, speaking of podcast form, we, 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 we hit that uh, a little bit earlier, but... Uh, we're available on uh, some more platforms now for an updated list. Uh, check out our Twitter. There's a link tree there that'll have all the links where we're accessible, where we're available uh, listed for you. I'm still in the process of making a panel down below that lists all the audio only um, platforms where you can listen to our show. The first two episodes are now up on those platforms and uh, more will follow soon, TM. Um, rapidly. Rapidly. And um, other than that, I don't really oh, have any, any more announcements. I got right. I got three, but I'll go through them real quick. All right, go for um, it. Um, first, uh, I am next week uh, a player in a new uh, TTRPG project. Myself and a group of people got our hands on the official Dune tabletop role playing game before it's released, and we get That's to play test it. So. so we're doing that, and we're streaming Session Zero next week, which nice. is going to be cool. So a character creation, Hells kind of yeah. talking about how the game works, because it's different. It's not D&D &D rules. It's a new <laughs> rule set, new system, new world. And I'm excited. I read the book Dune, but like literally years ago, so I'm going to need to find a refresher. And the movie's coming out soon, so watch that. But yeah, I'll post the link to the Twitch channel. I think it's twitch.tv slash freshoutthebox, I think is the name. But it's going through like name changes right now so i'll post the link when i know for sure what the final name of the url Dune is gonna 2000, be bro? that's the death of doing game i grew up on it's fucking lit no. is kyle mclaughlin gonna be in the campaign that's really all i care about <laughs> <laughs> i don't think so so yeah if you like if you want to see a new tabletop rpg you like the dune universe or you want to meet some new players and dms then check out the keep an eye on the discord and the twitter and i'll tweet it out second on Twitter, I have a giveaway running on my Twitter and it goes until October 1st. So if you want to win a cool mouse pad like the one I have that I spilled tea all over last week, but nice. you can get a clean one uh, from Corsair. No the... drinks on my desk that <laughs> don't have a lid or whatever yep. the fuck you said. <laughs> yep. And then I broke the rule once and it took one time for that to price. happen. <clears throat> yep. But if you'd like to win a cool RGB mouse pad, check out my Twitter. The giveaway link is pinned. It's the pinned tweet. So first thing Moish. you'll see. Uh, giveaway ends <clears throat> last day September. Uh, international? Asking for a friend? No oh, North America only. Good. There we yeah, go. thank you very much. Sorry. <laughs> that, that's probably a good thing to say. <laughs> yeah, because I'm I'm not in control of shipping it out. If it was if no, I no. was shipping out the mouse pad, I'd make it international. I'd just eat the shipping cost, but I'm not the one sending it, so I didn't get to make that decision. I'm sorry. Terms and conditions <laughs> apply void where prohibited. <laughs> <clears throat> and then exactly. final announcement. Um I have now got my hands. So like last week, Johnny bought me that night festival one shot that I want to run for those of you guys who didn't get to tr experience me as a DM in the face one play. shot. Me, 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 me. But I got my hands on another one shot now because my <laughs> Purihedral's Kickstarter one shot has arrived. And so that one, I think I'm going to open up. I would like to invite some people from my Dune group and then people from Play Dicely and kind of do like a mishmash of people from campaigns and then Cross one or two promotion, boys. dungeon selects. <laughs> Yeah, Sorry. and I don't. I'm not gonna put a date on those yet because my October. I have, I have four different tabletop RPG projects going on in October because I have a problem. That's so valid. I'm hoping to do them in November, and that gives me also October to prep and learn the one shots a bit. I also still owe like five different groups a run of festivities. I need to figure that out. Jesus. But <laughs> yeah, so keep an eye on that. Oh, quick we have some uh, cool thing. One -shots I asked this in the group DM, but I'm just gonna ask y'all here because now I have you all here. Thoughts on the weekend of Halloween running a one shot that is not to, not normal yeah. dungeon selects, but all like all you yeah. know horror spoopy one shot for Halloween. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Traditionally, we've had a session of DS that is Halloweeny, <clears throat> but I would I, I would be open to that yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah. Well, did you I, I don't think I'm here. I don't know if I'm gonna be here or not. Give I don't think I'm here. Gothic mansion. Let's go. 
What's spookier than having two player characters die at the start of the session? <laughs> but Bell and Soko that won't be here. <laughs> How dare you? Uh, I, I, wanna, I really want to do that. I found some really cool, like, spooky one-shots on DM's Guild that I want to have a crack at DMing. Uh, so I figured, hey, fuck it, dude. Instead of normal dungeons like that weekend, let's do a little, do a little one-shot. Hell yeah. Um, oh my, wouldn't it be amazing though, if we did a one shot, but the intro to the one shot was like, all of the DS characters like dying, and then that transitions into the one shot, and then when we start the session after that, we all wake up. Oh, it's it was weird. just a dream. Oh God, it was what? just a dream. <laughs> okay. I'll uh, keep that into account. Um, so yeah, <laughs> just a little, little, keep your eyes out for a, a little spooky inspired Halloween uh, session. Uh, Halloween weekend. It's gonna be gonna be. I think it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be good. Uh, with that said, does anyone have anything more they want to announce before um, we get going? Hesitant twenty four hour stream this weekend. Because oh, new world. Uh, because I don't know if I have other obligations but yeah if i can just play new world and be a nerd then yeah it's gonna be 24 hour stream for sure okay dude oh yeah probably like friday to saturday or something <clears> like that <throat> okay 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 hell yeah hell yeah Pog. i mean so, uh, you know, I'm out on that. all right last we left off Ooh. the party successfully uh dismantled a brewing war effort of a faction of uh, Yuan-Ti that reject the idea of outsiders settling on their land. But not without issue. It involved, you know, fighting a Hydra and some stronger Yuan-Ti individuals, which resulted in two party members going down, one of which almost dying. But everyone survived. The threat had been, has been eliminated. You found uh, some goodies, including uh, a uh, gem uh, gemstone that Davian had very uh, uh, <coughs> explicit interest in. And you got a little closer to uh, Sirin, who expressed interest in traveling back to Eldilon with you all to learn more about the customs and, and culture of these settlers. And also to tr to learn a bit more about religion, deities that you, as in you as a people, worship. And she wants to try and set up connections between Eldilon and her people the same way there have been working relationships set up between New Daramuth and, and her tribe of people. To which you all agreed to take her uh, take her along to Eldilon. Uh, Lazarin has already made her some promises regarding showing her around and, and, and whatnot, so... She's going to be sticking around for a little bit longer. You travel back to the temple that you uh, spent the night in on the way to uh, Sektha and had some rest there. But with the idea of... Uh, we, we ended the session with you guys waking up, but because you all leveled up, I'm going to ask you, uh, is there anything you want to do during the night before you wake up and start your next day? Well... Jax would probably end up waking up early. Okay. And there'd be a lot of loud banging from his tent. <laughs> if it tends to walk in, don't come and knock. Mature. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not, we're not in the temple. We're sleeping become. in the temple. So, unless you've gone with the, the Brooks classic of setting up a tent in the temple for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Okay. Our tent. Um, is it like, like is it loud? Yeah. Like, how loud is it? Our tent. I mean, a hammer on metal is pretty loud, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you motherfucker. Loud. In uh, my yeah. tent. <laughs> Brooks 100% hears this and wakes up, but everybody else gets woken up like in the middle of the night, and you just you just hear, or like very early in the morning, to hear just a bunch of hammer clanking coming from. Uh, how, how early the tent. is very early? Probably like 5, 6 a.m. ish. I think that I, I, we were already awake. It's, it's, it's probably daylight. Roughly. Yeah, like we're like dawn. daylight's peaking. Yeah, the sun's, you know? sun's coming up. Dawn. So if, if I get woken up by that, I'm uh I'm gonna take a stroll. Okay. If if we've if it's enough that we've long rested, we don't have to go back to bed after being woken sure, up. Sure, I would sure, go sure. and just because 
hella curious. I would want to go see what's making that noise. And if they let me, I'd like peek my head in the tent. And if they let me, I'd just sit there and watch whatever Jax is doing. I would assume that what you would see in there is Jax furiously tinkering away while Brooks is looking very perturbed. (laughs) Yeah. So you just see, you just see like, little cat head poke it like you know when you come home and then like if you have a real cat and all of a sudden there's this there's like the eyes are just like watching you from around a corner that's me but like peered in through the tent crack Brooks. Max, i promise to help you if you just shut fuck up for <coughs> an hour oh but i'm so close oh, <laughs> just, just like want... 30 more minutes i miss so good <laughs> i want half an hour I'm half an hour in bed, and then I'll I'll come help. I, I promise. Will you... I'm too close. I can't I can't stop. <laughs> and I keep going. And I, I I'm still gonna stay there. And what if if they don't if they don't say anything, I'm eventually gonna <clears throat> just come in, like just right in the doorway, and just sit there, just be sitting cross-legged and watching. What are Get you out. making, Jax? All right, so. He's like tinkering with his armor and it seems to be a bit like growing smaller and smaller as he does it. And over the next 30 minutes, his armor seems to conform into these two like silver bracelets. And then he just puts them on and he's like, I've done it. I have finished my masterpiece. Fuck my, okay. Um, hmm. (laughs) Looks like a pair of bracelets. Two weeks, dude. Well, I just did the yes. head tilt. Look, still looking now with the bracelets. Watch, and as you see him like put them on, he'll just tap them together. Like his, he'll tap his wrists together, and instantly his armor seems to conform. He gets these gauntlets on, and it just goes all over his body, just plate by Iron plate Man. by plate. Fuck and yeah, fucking conform, it like just grows all over his body until he's covered D&D in the Iron Man armor. I'm here for it. Fuck yeah, dude. That looks absolutely. Does this terrifying. include a helmet? With a bonus action, I do make a helmet. Nice. There you go. Nice. Siren also kind of interested or intrigued by the sound, kind of like where <clears throat> uh, Diagon's head was was peeping in. Like you, somewhere in, in the middle of that, Siren would have also just like kind of joined Diagon, and just like her head will be like above. Daigon's head, both periods. Daigon's kind of sat in the tent at this point, right? Uh, like, yeah, I'm sat in the tent at that point. Okay, so, if they so didn't, will just if, kind of do, do the same yeah. thing Daigon in, just have a look and... Well, so... do I get some claps or appreciation? How did you hide all that in those bracelets? Well, it's... A, you, you know how levers and pulleys work. Sure. Well, they simply conform the armor into smaller and smaller bits as they use bits of magic from pulling, uh, I, well, I have this bag and it, it can store a multitude of things, uh, for far more than a bag should. Um, and I use some of this extra dimensional magic to shrink down my armor and make it easier to put on. I thought you didn't believe in magic. No, I use magic. I don't believe in gods. They're not real. They're just people. They just have a higher intelligence. Okay, right. I didn't mean to set you off. All right, relax. Relax. It's like smash cut to Lazen praying like 50 feet away. (laughs) (laughs) Kez sat on the top of the temple scorping into an amulet. So, it's like this. uh, Fuck, what's the look? I'm trying to remember. Hold up. I'm going to pull up my reference sheet. I have the exact like armor look that I wanted. Oh yeah. On there. And does this include like a little like metal casing over your over your little little rice hat? Um, I haven't decided whether I actually want like a helmet or not over okay. my rice hat. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's that, like that's, a nail that's, that comes uh, out. To, be, to be decided. <laughs> Just a face guard. Oh, dude, that. Something. Okay. <laughs> why didn't you fit the armor <laughs> into the like hat? That. What? Instead of the bracelets, why didn't you just fit the armor into the hat? That'd be pretty fucking funny. Because like, I didn't think about that, so fuck you. The flick of the button, just um, a complete shield just goes down, down from the hat. <laughs> in 30 <laughs> seconds, this <laughs> man can down. turn from an ordinary individual Yo, to a letter box. box. Dude, I don't, kind of, I don't remember what style of armor this is called. Okay. I think it's runic armor. Metal. Is what it's actually called. 
okay. um, the style. And it's like the bigger pauldrons that kind of like shoot up a little bit to the sides, like next to the neck. And then it comes down and just layered into these gauntlets. Um, It's got like uh the little, what are they called? The fucking circular pieces that are like there to hold like capes or whatever. You know? Yeah, I can't remember what they're called either. I, I, I was... The name's always fucking, it's weird. Um, And then it goes down to like, almost like this, it's not like a skirt, but it is, uh, it looks like two sides of a skirt on the legs where it's like three or four different like layers of metal down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then these long uh, platelets, is that what they're called? Right? The legs? Oh, plates. I think they're called platelet, platelets. Um, into like these greaves um, down onto the boots, which are completely metal now as well. Fucking cool. And like come to like a point. <clears throat> Any like design choices, like color, color, color scheme? Oh yeah, and there's like glowing red runes across. Ooh. They're called rondels. Oh, the Rundle, rondel. Rundles, there you go. They, not necessarily for capes, but they that. cover the gaps while still being maneuverable. Yeah, I, I, I just know that like, people like tuck the capes into them, but yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, rondel rounds. Very cool. Very cool. Siren kind of looks at you and, and kind of like just gives it a little knock, you know, like on your chest. It's like... Dook, dook. Would you... How long... Did you make this overnight? No. I've been tinkering this for... About a year. Oh. So that's a no on... Do you take commissions? Depends on what it is. Hmm. I'll think about that and get back to you. Jax has a side hustle. <laughs> <laughs> Arms dealer. Oh yeah, he does. He has. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Davian, will you get oh, me on your, on your walk? Um, I want to. Find an area that's either sort of swampy or river banky. Um, you know, the sort, sort mm -hmm. of like that marshy riverland. I know we're in a rainforest, usually rivers run through them, right? Yeah, so I don't know how long it would take to find some, something like that close ish sure. to the temple. Maybe there's one fairly close because the temple is a place where people live, they need a source of water, whatever. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna sort of I'm going to put together like a small little campfire, like tiny, you know, just light it up with a tinderbox with whatever dry wood I can find and put it on a, uh, like, you know, stones around it and stuff, try to keep it relatively contained. And I want to look for some feathers. Uh, make a survival Any check. Any feathers at all. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold on. You win these, right? I mean, kind of. <laughs> on a good one. day. Forehead. On a good day. Yeah, okay. <laughs> It's I mean, easy. If, if we go back to session two. Oh, 24. Okay. Ooh. You kind of look around and you um, spot uh, the remains of an old bird nest uh, up top uh, on one of the thicker branches of a, of a nearby tree. And under which you see some feathers kind of fall into the ground from that nest. I'll, I'll take a few feathers. I found one, by the way, guys. I've been missing for like three weeks, but I found oh. it. Nice. <laughs> Um, I'll, I'll collect a few of the feathers, and I will take a little squat down by the fire, and just kind of drawing on this kind of weirdly newfound druidic power, just sort of like crumble the feathers into the fire, and summon my animal companion. Oh, it's time for the burp, guys! Ooh. My primal beast. And as you as if crumble these finette. feathers mm. into um, into the fire, right? You said like you're you're okay. The fire changes color from a normal red, orangish uh, flame to a more almost green flame. It's still like at its core that orange red color, but it has like a green tinge, if that makes sense. And the fire grows. But for some somehow you don't feel uncomfortable by the 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 heat, and you kind of go with your hands like near the fire, and it seems that it's not really warm. 
it's it seems that it is it's no longer functioning as a normal fire would. And with that, the fire suddenly extinguishes itself. And for a few moments, you stand there and you're kind of... What happened? Nothing happened. Hello? And then suddenly, you hear above you... Whoa! And a small helicopter is coming to land. Yes. <laughs> and as you look up That's to what see they sound like. what that sound is, you can see a large shoebill stork oh. with some markings on its on its on its large beak and wings that seem not of this realm, not of this world. And it mm. lands beside you and looks at you, oh. and immediately you feel a connection with this creature. You feel a bond. What do you do? I step back and I give it, give it a little, a little bow. It bows back to you. And I reach my hand out and sort of tentatively touch its beak. It allows you to touch it. Give it a, give it a little sort of pet on its beak. You see him kind of like rustle his feathers a little bit when you do so. And I will just... Well, just, I guess, I mean, I'm not going to use a spell slot. That's crazy. But I will just sort of <laughs> lean down to it and I will say, I will call you Onu. He looks at and you and you can see his eyes instead of the normal, like, uh, normal brownish eyes. This bird's eyes are, like, have, like, a magical greenish tinge to them, similar to the green tinge you saw on the fire. And it blinks at you, and then nods, seemingly accepting the name. Oh, no. Fly, but follow. <laughs> Takes off, and as you kind of assumingly make your way back to the temple, you can see that Onu is never more than about ten feet behind you, but very high up top, like kind of like under the canopy of the of the rainforest. Hell yeah. Following dude. you. I got a burb. I'll make my way got a burb. up the steps of the of the temple where everyone else is residing. And I will just sort of as I go in, like I will I'm quite I'm quite short. Actually, I'll probably need to like <laughs> jump to like <laughs> slap the uh door fr doorway like frame thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll just be like fuck and then make my way back inside. <laughs> Uh, and I was like, you... oh, I, I I can slap a door frame in real life, but Davian's like five four, so yeah, and like this, and like this, these temple doors are a bit, you know, taller than your average. Yeah, they accommodate you, know, you on tea. Big beasts. Um, as you enter the temple, Onu kind of swoops down. Uh, unless you don't want him to follow you in. Well, no, I wanted to perch on the on the door frame. Oh right, okay, so he mm. goes to perch on the door frame. Right, right, right. Okay, and all that. Uh strut my way in to see unless they're all still in the tent which is a two-man no. tent by the i mean way. i'm not in the tent I'm oh, yeah like... it's, it's absolutely I'm... crowded <laughs> at this point you walk in and you can kind of see uh you do you see Jax in this like new armor uh kind of explaining to everyone like what it is and and how did how mm. he made it and just kind of flexing his new his new armor oh yeah Jax or soka <laughs> huh? Both. <laughs> Both, i guess <laughs> Yes, well, um, there are different compartments for, uh, my different, um, well, spells as you have seen. <laughs> um, Jack, uh, Brooks. Mm hmm? Uh, you said you did, uh, ruin your jacket, or vest, right? It's not ruined, it's just covered in fucking blood. Uh, I got this. And out of his bag of holding comes like a little brush, like a scrubber, a little like bucket of water and shit, and it cleans up. It starts to clean up your vest. You've been able to do that that entire fucking time, or just yes. <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> you can tell that this has been on your mind the past couple of days because you've been real fucking quiet. You couldn't spoke up about that one, could you? Well, like, uh, design ideas and whatnot. 
and I'll and I'll go back in the bag. Love how your mic doesn't pick up your clapping because of your fucking noise. Does it really? Yeah. <laughs> no. no, no, it doesn't. It's like yeah. silent. Yeah. 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 We have the visual, so it's fine. Punch we need to instead. we need to get him a recording of him clapping on a soundboard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He just have, he just has to talk when he claps. That's what it is. He's like oh, I clap so like that. Everyone's kind of woken up. Uh, anything you want to do with your morning before you travel to Sekthar? Um, I'm gonna put seeing... my vest back on. Okay. So seeing the cleaning of the vest reminds me. I want to just walk over to Kess as she's like putting her. I guess we're packing up our bed rolls and stuff, and say, um, back at the tavern before when you guys were all. Oh, I'm signing this, obviously. Uh, back at the tavern before when you all were talking, um, you mentioned that you're not very good at sewing and you'd like to learn. I'm pretty good at sewing and weaving. I could teach you if you want. Oh yeah, that sounds great. Yay. <laughs> Friendship. And, uh, and also sign, <laughs> and when we get back to any city that might be big enough, would you be able to help me find a bookstore? Absolutely. Cool. All right. Syrian kind of opens her pack and just starts chomping on some rations and looks at you all. I take jungle remedy. Yeah. Smart man. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, same. I will also sip yeah, some jungle same. remedy. Absolutely uh, unpacked. I'm gonna. I want to take it, the jungle, jungle remedy, and I want to pour it on like my dried meat ration and see if it makes the ration taste any better. And then I'm no. still eating it. <laughs> no. Well, you see me do that it's anyway. Not and you very just great. It. It's not very great. Now your ration tastes like cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, Wait, well I, mean... I tried. <laughs> but it's like the licorice -y, like, ugh, sticky yeah, like yeah. cough oh, syrup. Oh, God. I like licorice, though. I hate licorice. I love How... licorice, but I'm Dutch, so, you know, here we are. <laughs> How tall is Jax? 6'8". Oh, my Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Literally over a foot tall. <laughs> Siren kind of looks at you all. Um... We leave now, uh, because we got woken up quite early. We'll reach Sethka around noon. Gives us some time to stock up on supplies. And to talk to Nuxa about my departure. So unless there's anything you wish to do, shall we proceed? I mean, that sounds like an excellent idea. Out of idea. this fucking place. Sooner the better, I suppose. I need to mark off that jungle remedy. We should have, what, five of them left? Because we bought nine? Three. If we had three. 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 seven. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Had a week worth. Kes kind of bounce outside ahead of everyone else to pet Onu. I mean, yeah, as you walk uh, outside. You haven't seen yeah, Onu. Onu yeah, is outside. Exactly. Okay. Onu is outside. Uh, Onu is above the door, so unless you I was outside, um, wait, really? After our conversation, yeah. Oh, lame. Oh, there you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Plus, uh, even if Kess walks outside, and you know, Kess's fucking past perception is ridiculous as well. Yeah. So she'll, she'll, she'll have, she would have noticed. Actually, I don't know what his dex is. Big bird sitting on door frame. Very big bird <laughs> sitting on door frame. And so should all... I buy five smoking arrows? Sorry. Did I buy five smoking arrows? Because I... yes. we used two, right? The bundle yeah, okay. was five smoking arrows. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Just making sure I've marked that right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I, mean, I mean, as you all walk out, um, does anyone, did, like, does Davy want to do like a little spiel about the bird, or could I fit a shoe bell on my shoulder? Probably not. Quite big. It's, it's big. quite a big bird. It's a <laughs> big <laughs> bird. You could try. It's a big bird, and you are fine. I mean, it wouldn't be heavy, but they've got big, it's fucking like, big, and like talons, right? Yeah. But birds aren't heavy. They have and give him a shit you could smuggle in his bill, though. True. <laughs> I should have got a pelican. No, as as we all walk out, I'll just sort of like direct Onu to take to the sky as this big, fucking like two, three meter wingspan gray shoebill stalk with a mean looking beak. And it's weird, the primal markings, right? Yeah. So I guess of the primordial realm, is that a thing? Uh, it's like uh, it's like a primordial uh, like alphabet almost, kind of like similar in a way to uh, how 
most magical runes are derived from uh, Draconic. Uh, mm. This is that kind of same idea, but based and derived off of uh, the more primordial uh, uh, speech and alphabet. As he as he takes to the sky, um. Well, I suppose I'm not the only one with a trick up my sleeve, although that seems a little harsh given that he's a companion. But um, I have a I have a bird now. What's his name? His name's Onu. He's a shoebill. I don't know what that is. Did you find a, a stork in fucking jungle? Well, I I uh, sort of summoned it, I suppose. You see, Although... Dagon's eyes looked a little bit excited and then looked a little bit crestfallen because she thought the bird looked very tasty and now she can't eat it. <laughs> Although um, they're not <laughs> particularly uncommon, I think, on the continent. Um, Onu stands out with his the, the markings that sort of show he's a magical being. Um, hopefully, should be some help. Wait, he's a magical being? I, I think, I mean, sort of summon him from a little fire. I thought I, I he was think, blood. I think he's magical. <clears throat> I thought he was Well, uh, technically it's uh, primal <laughs> power manifested in the form of a bird. So I suppose oh, okay. it's more like a spirit that's like just in a, a bird shape. Like fairy um, spirits. Maybe? <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> but well, uh, he'll be traveling with us for a time. Not, Yay. That's not terrifying at all. I am inspired by your lack of confidence. Oh, well, I'm not particularly educated in face spirits. I am. <laughs> <laughs> then you know what better than me. Mean? Mean? What is that? What that sound? Yes. Oh, it's just a, it's just a bird call. Hungry. You don't <laughs> understand it. Not unless I cast a spell. I mean, do people tend to understand the dogs and the likes? I don't think it's very... Well, most people don't summon their fucking dogs. <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just signed a catch. You... Is that not what you do when you call your pet? Technically, you summon them to your side to save you've not, them? You've not done your own main temples, have you? A lot of summoning of... You don't have to summon a no, dog. why would I be to a temple? They're all Did you... false... false. Worshippers oh, yeah, idols. of course you're you. You're you. Yes, yes, yes. Could you have summoned a dog this entire time, Elasrin? No, no, I can't sum I it's not summon. My will dog. Dog. It's not, not my will. It's not my will. Does that yeah, mean you get rid like of Onu? Well, if I summon the dog, Onu will go away, so... I just signed a kiss. I hope he never summons a dog. I'd rather have a dog. Wait. You have multiple? I don't... It can take multiple shapes, but only one at a time. I don't know if I don't even know if it's the same. So, so it, would it be the? Oh, this is fucking confusing. <laughs> well, we've got a good bird companion now, it seems. So, I mean, I, I just think we get you know, know given roll on. Might help for scouting. Might do you know well to aid us sort of in in combat without getting too well in harm's way himself. What happens if it dies? I, sorry, that sounds really morbid, but. Um, well, I can restore, I can restore him to life easily enough. Does that mean that we... It's spirit, isn't it? If so we were in a... It would just be that dies, anyway. Just create a new one. So you, so you can bring it back if it dies. <clears throat> Why so do we I feel were... like you're considering killing it just to see what happens? I was thinking more in, you know, worst comes to the worst, we run out of rations. <gasps> <laughs> That's deplorable. A, oh. oh yes, I'm sure the bird spirit would much prefer that the one thing that summons it starves to death. It doesn't. Isn't it a spirit? Isn't Why? It just it, it, it's like a spirit. Not, I mean, if we're out of food, I, I'm sure I only could fetch us some fish. Yeah. Small rodents, True. maybe. Cat. Oh, oh, he tried to make a joke and <laughs> I just should have wear a glance at everyone uh, else takes it seriously. As soon as I say cat, like oh fuck wait. Oh, <laughs> Does that um, count as cannibalism? Technically no. 
if I ate a cat because I'm a tabaxi, I'm not a cat. It, I don't, it's, it's cannibalism once removed. Dagon, do you I consider yourself a cat? I nod no. Well, then no, it's not cannibalism, so we'll be fine. So we can eat That brings cat. up an interesting moral question. If an elf eats a halfling, is that cannibalism or not? No. Mm, no. <laughs> I, I, I'm thinking... Have you been... Brooks, have you been remembering to take your jungle remedy? Because you're sounding fucking insane right now. I think I read another honest. one. Be entirely I'm honest, I'm really fucking bored. I want to... Oh, rambling I guess, uh, Delusions are the first signs of jungle fever. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Hmm. Well, then we I want to go over and like check fair. if he's got a fever with my hand, just like <laughs> my hand on his head. I can, <laughs> yeah. can I help you? I'm checking if you have a fever. Do I have a fever? You've yes, I'm starting to think maybe you don't know. I have so taken my medicine. Fever. You do not. <laughs> no, he does it. He does. He does blush though because Kess is touching him. <laughs> 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 Love it. Yes, it's just like, Look, oh, don't mind her touching me. Being thrown across the room into her chest is a bit different. <laughs> he, he's not like, <gasps> never let go. Sweat's just flowing down. I'm never washing this face again. <laughs> <laughs> don't let go. Right, so as you guys travel, um, like, do you just tell Onu to kind of keep an eye out uh, in the sky? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's got big wings, can fly What's pretty effortlessly. What's that block does he use? So I can have it open for the, his, like, uh, stuff? Uh, oh, no, I'm uh, actually going to have to open the... Bird stack block. He uses the... Beast of the Sky stat block? Beast of it? the Sky stat block, which is... Okay. I need to save somewhere because it doesn't come up, I think, uh, in my DDB. You might be able to put it as an extra in your DDB on sheet. Hit points, four mm. plus four times your ranger level. Uh, like, is that the stat block that I, that, that I need? Like, um, yeah. oh, say again? AC yeah, 13 yeah, plus uh, PB, hit points yeah, 4 yeah, plus yeah, 4 yeah. times the range level, that one? Okay, okay, cool. cool yeah. Cool. Let's, see what <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see what Onu sees, since he has definitely the best position. Okay. As you're kind of traveling, uh, you once again hear Onu call out, but this time it sounds more aggressive, more, uh, like, louder, more aggressive. You get the sense that he's trying to get your attention, Davian? Okay, so, from from up above? Yeah, from up above. Where, like, whereabouts sort of on, sort of a compass would he be from me? Like, does it uh, seem like you're of whatever he's signaling to You're traveling southwest. So, like, I kind of, like, directly ahead of you, but, like, uh, like, ten, 10 foot ahead of you, but about 30 feet in the sky. Okay. I'll hold everyone up for a second, and I'll just try and peer through through the jungle, I suppose, to see what he might be uh, Make a perception signaling check. for. Oh, 12. You don't see anything, but you do hear a very loud hissing sound. A sound that... Uh, make a nature check. Oh, okay. It does it sound familiar to me? Like when I've hissed at the party? <laughs> Is it a cat-like Ten. hiss? Ten? You recognize this, recognize this to be the sound of, you know, the sound alligators make when they're kind of like... Oh, oh. okay. I love that. Uh, but it sounds... Nope. It's very loud, giving you the indication that this might be a particularly big one. And it's coming from, like, just, just through some bushes and, and a tree line ahead of you. Okay, I'll, I'll like I'll whoever's nearest to me. I'll just like get hands on their shoulders and slowly pull them back. There's a, f a alligator or a crocodile or something up ahead of us. I'm not sure what. Oh, I've heard people talk about those They're, like big with like massive teeth. Yeah, <clears throat> and they really fuck you up. So I will draw they, my uh, well, knock an arrow in my longbow. Aren't yeah. um, 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 the the skins of these things worth quite a lot? Yeah. I think we could take a take an alligator. Do I see, is it is do I see any movement? Is it does it sound like it's coming closer? You're gonna have to at least peer through the uh, the tree line up ahead. Um, Jax, you're wearing a brand new tin can. 
Why, why don't you take a little look at what we're dealing with? I'll go walk over. Fuck it. What? <clears throat> I'm just get ready to punch it if I see it. <laughs> you see, as you kind of peer through, it's clear as day. Two giant crocodiles. Just kind of like laying in uh, the river, <clears throat> like a little river uh, ahead of you, directly on your path. Um, for the purposes of this, as I have a Do pretty high passive stealth? perception, I would like for you to roll stealth. Check. stealth. Yeah. All right, guys, we're fighting. Um, gator fighting. Gator we saved the, ga we saved the gator, gator, gator fighting just for Soko to come back. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, they're crocodiles, but yeah, gator wrestling. Okay, oh, well. <laughs> I want you guys to know that I did roll a natural twenty. Okay, but, but I have disadvantage. <laughs> yep. Oh. So I rolled a zero. <laughs> As you, the, the moment you peer through the grass, these two crocodiles just turn their heads, both look at you, and just start coming at you. I need you all to roll initiative. Hell yeah. Nice. That one. That's oh yeah. Part. We in fantasy Florida now, boys. We were excellent yeah, gators. I don't think, oh, because it's from Tasha's Cauldron, I don't think the um these stat blocks are in the extras on D and D Beyond, which is annoying. Mm, doesn't look like it. Uh, they I, should I, I be just, if Googled, they are. Uh, if you just Google "Beast of the Sky" stat block. Uh... Yeah, I've, I've got it. I've got it open. Okay, Tasha's okay. Cauldron. Plus, because nice I have, to add it to my sheet. I have the a, Tasha's yeah. Cauldron paid content, and I have content sharing on, and I'm in the campaigns. So yeah, yeah, sure. no, I have it. Like I have, so I have all of the Tasha's Cauldron like optional yeah, class features and everything. Be... It's just not listed in the catalog for oh okay. uh, creatures that I can have. It would be, I guess, I mean, it's just called Beast of the Sky, and I went through pretty much does every category. Uh, it doesn't have a CR because it's oh, okay, okay. just its own, like, yeah. spell sort of thing. I was looking for a thing with equivalent stats, but a lot of it's stats are based off my stats, so. And for a Sirin, there we go. God, I got the hiccups. Uh, I rolled right. good for once, guys. Initiatives of 20 or higher, please. Me, 21. Me, 23. 23. 23. Two, three. Fabian, 21. Again. 15 to 20? Oh, 17. 15. Sorry? What? 17. 17. I'm 15. 15. 17. 15. Elaz, go Aaron. run and grab my dinner. Rooks. Right. Uh, 10 to 15? 5 to 10? 6. Oh boy. Jax? I rolled a 3. I rolled a 3 also, but I have a minus 2, so 1. <laughs> All right. All right. He's back, boys. Soko's back. Soko's back. So you have two rolls sucks, since you come back decks. so far. So since you come back, you rolled rolls. a zero. A zero and a one. I did roll a natural twenty. No, because well. you had disadvantage. So oh, that, yeah, eight. that counts as one roll. Sorry, bud. So, so so far you've All got right. a zero. On so a first up, as you hear these crocodiles just charging at Jax, Davian, what do you do? Okay. Hmm. Two of them. Two of them. Yeah. I will. Um... I mean, I gotta use the, I gotta use the bird, obviously. <laughs> Bonus action. You said it's about thirty feet up, right? So, yeah. he has a movement of sixty feet. Okay. Um, so should be able to swoop down and shred Ooh. one of them. All right. Let's go with uh, crocodile number one for the sake of ease. Okay. Which uses my spell attack modifier. Hold on. Okay. Which is a dirty 20 to hit. That hits. Yes, sir. Or, uh... <clears throat> uh I see what this... Oh, nine points of slashing damage. Very good. And then he will fly 30 feet back up without provoking any opportunity attacks. Because he's a gamer. That's fucking awesome. All right, so Onu swoops and then... down and very loudly... <laughs> As he charges at uh, one of these crocodiles and then immediately just 
flies back up in the air, back to being like 30-ish feet up above. Hell yeah. And I will shoot the same one. Sounds good. Sounds good. Dude, With they the made the, 20... Beast Ma the Beastmaster Ranger is so much more fun now. Holy fuck, dude. Let me tell you. True. Uh, 25 to hit. 25 hits. Absolutely. <clears throat> For eight points of piercing damage. Eight points of piercing damage? Mm-hmm. Very nice. Uh, that will be my turn. Okay. <clears throat> Daigon. Uh, I know what I want to do. I'm just figuring out what my DC... Okay, that's what it is. Okay. Are the two crocodiles about the same distance like from us, or is one closer than the other? No, they're about uh, equidistant. Okay, well, I'll go for the one that Davian shot at. Uh, I'm going to just start running forward mm -hmm. uh, towards the uh, crocodiles. And as once I get, like, I am about to enter their melee range, I am, I am going to use a key point to summon my arms of astral self. Okay. My new thing. So you just see um, two sets. So I now have six arms total, but only two of them are physical in here. You see uh, one set of spectral <laughs> arms come out kind of upward of my shoulders and one a bit lower. Dude, my sick. spectral <laughs> arms, however, look very different from me because they are covered in very plush, velveteen looking black panther fur. They are not hairless like myself. And when the sun hits them, kind of like, you know, those like Bengal cats where they have like those stripes and patterns, but only in the sunlight when they're in like dim light, they just look black. Mm -hmm. So it looks like that. Fuck yeah. And That's cool. so Sorry, as Zara. I pop them out and I'm in the range, the both of them have to make a dexterity save for me from the terror of seeing these arms appear. Oh, Jesus, okay. Damn. Uh, the first one rolled a 16. The passes. And a 17. Okay, they both pass. Let me see if they still take half or... Okay, no. They succeed, so they don't take any damage. Okay. They're, they're not phased. They're not scared by seeing the arms. But then the I'm going to use all my six arms. Jacks that they see as yeah. like snack in the, in I'm going to use my new arms and the one that I'm trying to go and grapple and wrap Ooh. all the arms and myself around and try and wrestle a crocodile. I'm literally wrestling gators, dude. Yeah. Ooh, and because okay. of my arms, I get to use my wisdom instead of my strength because I'm Ooh. using the spectral arms. That's sick. So do I just roll and tell you what I rolled for it? Uh, yeah, uh, you're doing a grapple check, so I need you to roll yeah. athletics, and it's against either dex Aww. or strength for these guys. I rolled poopy. That's an 11. 11? I mean, I can still roll. 19. <laughs> Fuck. I just thought they had well, the I and same strength oh. modifier. <laughs> I try and grab it, and I'm pursuing it wriggles away. Yeah, it just kind of wiggles loose, like wiggles loose, and... All right. In that case, I'm just now standing between them with my arms out, all six of them, and just nice. waiting. Because my bonus action was to summon the arms, my action was to grapple, and I'm not going to okay. move away. I, I have a quick question. Yeah. So, did you say you can you use your wisdom modifier for that grapple because it's I your did, arms? Yeah. Yeah. So if it's if an athletics check, arms. is it wisdom plus proficiency then in that case? Is that yeah, how it, that it works? Yeah, it would just uh, yeah. be wisdom Oh, the proficiency, proficiency would be... Yes, I saw one of one. If, well, if, if, if you're proficient added, in athletics, I'm just curious. Yeah, I, I just was I would wondering say, how I, would, that I am. I would say so, yeah. Because okay. it replaces... But, it, it doesn't replace the skill. It just replaces the, yeah, the like, the stat. stats. It's the same as, like, yeah. a strength-based okay. intimidation check. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So okay, if, right. in that exactly. case, it only would have brought the roll to a 13, though. I Which still would not have been enough. Yeah, 11. Yeah, I just wanted to For future reference, yeah, if you're proficient, it will you keep your proficiency bonus, even though you're using the stat. Cool, cool, cool. Good to know. Yes. All right, that's me. That's my turn. All right, Elazrin. Nom nom nom. Yeah, that's chomp. me. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> you're good. You're good. Fucking bad, bad time to put food in my mouth. Ah, uh, fuck it. Everyone's using the new shit. That's fucking. That's let's go crazy. Okay. Uh, uh, let's go. Uh, I will bonus action cast spiritual weapon. Nice, dude. In front of them. Oh. And uh, what does it look like? In front, I summon this like very ornate, super like golden and crystallized pair of nunchucks fuck yeah <laughs> come out <laughs> cool fuck yeah um come out and they kind of just like start spinning up as they get towards the the crocodiles and start like spinning like impossibly fast as they go to go use it to hit bro could i get a hit are you gonna try and attack the crocodile no i'll take the one that hasn't been hit yet okay. just like 
fucking death this weird death spin going on on it. <coughs> okay. Uh, so 19 to hit. That hits. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that. Uh... Oh, that's a six points of damage. Six points of damage? Mm-hmm. Very good, very good. And then as an action, mm. I'm gonna cast Sacred Flame. Hell yeah. Uh, the same one, one that I just... Yeah, same one. Deck safe, please. Damn, dude. Uh, nine. Oh, fails. And it takes... Seven points of damage. Hell nice. yeah. We're all dealing. Fuck well, yeah. except Dagon. <laughs> no, Anything else I we should have turn? Mm. Okay, okay. Brooks. Which of the two gators looks roughest? Um, but both look about equal to you. Okay. Neither of them are bloodied in any way? No. Okay. You've seen both kind uh, of been hit by a couple of, of, of moves and... Yeah, but it's not clear to you which, if there's any one of them like significantly more hurt than the other. They seem pretty okay. equal. That's fine. Uh, I will bonus action rage. Nice. And then I will go to the one that Dagon is not at. So the opposite one to Dagon. Okay. And then I'm going to pull out just one of my hand axes this time and fucking whack it. Go for it. With, with advantage, because you're flanking with a Daigon. Right, that was your uh, position, Two right? fifteens. Uh... Oh, no, 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 I wanted to go to uh, the other crocodile. Oh, never the mind. The one that uh, Daigon is not at, sorry. Never mind then, sorry. Uh, but I rolled a 15 and a 15, so... Yeah, so it doesn't matter, 15. Alright, so a dirty 20 to hit. Yes. Cool. Uh, not oh. great roll. Seven points of slashing damage. Seven points of slashing damage, very nice. And and yeah, that's my turn. That ends your turn. All right, Sirin also has some new stuff that she can do. So what she's going to do is... Um, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Um, Everyone's like, new stuff! Yeah. Throw all the new stuff. <laughs> And having new stuff. Right. Nice. Is going to uh, use an ability called Piercing Thorns, where Ooh. you can see her kind of like, as she knocks an arrow in her bow, the arrow just starts sprouting these, these very sharp thorns as she takes aim at one of the uh, crocodiles. Um, and this should do is once during each return, she can just get a free d6 of piercing damage. Sick. Uh, and she's gonna take aim and fire this fire this arrow at one of the crocodiles. That is a, a sixteen to hit, which does hit for a total. Oh, ooh, hoo, hoo, okay. It's the wrong die for a total of. Nine points of damage. And you can see, like, as the arrow impacts uh, the crocodile, the thorns kind of shoot out of it and just cover the entire, like, body of this crocodile and just make small jabs, like, small incisions into its body. Um, cool. To which it kind of responds with kind of, like, opening its very loud, a very large mouth and just <laughs> smashing its shut again, kind of splashing some water around. Uh, and that will be Sirin. It is now the crocodile that just got uh, hand axed. Its turn, and he's going to multi-attack Brooks. He's going to no, first attempt to uh, <laughs> swipe at you with his tail, and then gonna also miss, though, going to try and bite you. Um, he's going to miss though because he's a bitch. With the tail, that is a twenty-three to hit. Yeah, that misses. No. That misses? Yeah, from funny 23. joke. I have 24 AC. That's not true at all. <laughs> wrong character. You got wrong character. I, I, I have, um... I have um, plus 12 to my fucking... You take... Uh, constitution. 
17, mm -hmm. but you're raging, so you take 8 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh. And I need you to make a strength yeah. saving throw. I win these. Do I get it? I get advantage on this, right? Because I'm raging. Yes. I believe so, yes. Yeah. Uh, that's a 17. Okay. Uh, you are not knocked prone. Thank God. Uh, <clears throat> and after it just swipes at you with sail, it's then going to proceed and try and bite you as well. Um, wow, that's another 23 to hit. Okay. <laughs> I had rolled the exact same. <laughs> Lit. This Sorry. better be a high roll on your dice. Huh? This better be a high roll. I don't want these gators to be out here with like plus 12. No, it's rolled natural 16 both times. They have a plus 7 to hit? I mean, yeah. I have a plus 6. Oh no, 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 no. Eight. Sorry, it would be 24 to hit. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> um, you take... That's cool. 13 points, but half to 6 of piercing damage. Uh, and you are considered grappled in its beak. Okay. It has its, it has its like, beak. It has its large it mouth. Beak. Jaws mouth. just clenched Good. around you, and it's like, kind of like squishing you, and you are you are caught okay. in its mouth. It's fine so by me. Power morphing alligators out here. Mm -hmm. That's because in Dutch we say back, which sounds a lot like beak. That's why my, uh, my mind went to beak. Uh, um, stop contacting. That is its turn. Kes. Okay, um... I'm assuming I can get within range of, like, melee range in 30 feet, right? Sorry? I'm assuming I can get within melee range in yeah. 30 feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to cast Shadow Blade uh, at second level. Okay. Um, so the, the shadows from the trees and various other things around her solidify into a rapier in her right hand. Um, and she's gonna walk nice. forward and just wail on him. Nice. On uh, oh, yeah. the one that attacked. This like shadowy rapier just now yeah. appears in Kess Kesslin's hands, and she just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which one are you attacking, by the way? The one that has uh, uh, the, the one, one that, that attacks Brooks grappled, or one that doesn't have Brooks grappled? Yeah, the one that has Brooks ga grappled. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Um, Mrs. Nice. That was a twenty-three to hit. <laughs> yeah. So, nice, uh, seven, uh, psychic damage, and seven two damage. thunder. So nine points of damage total? Yep. Very good. Anything else? No, that's it. Alrighty. Uh, the other crocodile has a cat-like individual in front of it, so is going to do the same thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Going to do the same thing that uh, the other croc did to Brooks. He's going to first try and yeah. swipe at you with his tail and then try to bite you. How many so legs do they have? have? Sorry? How many legs do they have? This Just four. four. These are actual crocodiles, not... Uh, uh, natural 20 to hit with the tail. Uh, oh, screwed. no. It's going to hurt. Oh, no. Rude. Just because we got more health doesn't mean you got to test out the new health. Uh, oh, yes, I do. <laughs> How close can we get Daigon to get death again? <laughs> can Daigon go down every fight? Is this going to be the new I've got a lot more healing spells this time. It's fine. Uh, no, no, Daigon no, well, can run really fast, though. You take 17 points of okay. uh, bludgeoning damage. And I need you to make a strength saving throw. I could almost walk I get to make it with out. my wisdom modifier because my arms are out. Fuck yeah. nice. Does, it, does that go to any strength-based check or, or yes. saving throw? I will read you the text. It says you can cool. use your wisdom yeah. modifier in place of your strength modifier when making strength checks and strength saving throws. That's sick. Oh, right. yeah. yeah, that is that's basically so the awesome. the idea is that the astral, the astral like, arms the astral are doing arms. it instead of everything. Yeah. Does it yeah. help when you roll a natural two to make it? A <laughs> 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 yeah, boy. The sheer okay. strength of this tail swipe just knocks you uh. on on top on your belly and you are knocked prone. Oh, shit, dude. Which is bad. Okay. Because that means he's taking another attack. On its bite attack. This crocodile going death roll. Ah, oh, cat. Uh, rolled like shit though, but uh, 15 to hit? Okay. Uh, Dragon? Just hits. That's just my Just hits. Damn. Uh oh. Unfortunate. I got yelled at. James is tutoring. I'm not allowed to swear loudly. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, okay. Well, this is not even so bad. Uh, for another it's nine points of piercing damage. Oh, 
<laughs> okay, I was kidding when I said dying and didn't go down every fight because I'm at two hit points. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's not too bad. He says you are considered grappled now, and it's <laughs> yeah between its jaws. I would not have survived that. So that is not too bad. I mean, it's only a third of our health. animals that are very like they have an insanely high strength modifier, so they <laughs> okay. they get a lot of boost to their attacks. Uh, so you are you are considered grappled. I'm grappled. I cool. Yes. Um, Jax. With his resounding initiative of zero or whatever it was. <laughs> there was one. one okay. Oh, sorry. sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'd just like to say, Jax burst through the undergrowth and started this fight, and then his allies have jumped to his side and like, immediately just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> up. Like tripped in a bush, okay? He you was trying to remember how to activate his armor. In full plate, or what it looks like plate anyways. No. Um, no. Like this man, no, you didn't trip. You just, you, like, you say you pushed it away. What happens is you just, you just walked through it straight I just and just get all tangled up. Like, <laughs> yeah, jump <laughs> through the jump, fucking jump. Right. Uh, I'm gonna doing? run over to the alligator by Daigon okay. and give it a fucking punch with my thunder gauntlets. Oh, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> So you guys see me to go punch, Free fucking me. lightning goes all over the gauntlet. Free oh, me oh, from my grapple. Why would they have lightning though? It's a thunder gauntlet. Cause that's how it fucking flavors it. I don't fucking know. <laughs> really loud. Calls them thunder gauntlets. It does thunder damage for some reason. I don't understand. Fuck it, dude. Hey, roll your attack. Uh, that is a 21 to hit. That hits. All right. I get to roll. Oh, never mind. It's the same dice. I literally roll every time. Okay, cool. Uh, it does eight points of thunder, or yeah, eight points of thunder damage. Very nice. And oh, there's more. And now his disadvantage on attack rolls against everyone except for me until the oh. next turn, or until my next turn. The cool, cool special. Yep. Oh, except I can do it without using his dumb shit. Am I still in its mouth? Yes. Yes. yes, you are. Wham! Oh, Dagon's just like. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All righty. Oh Is that your turn, Jax? And then as a bonus action, oh. I'm gonna give myself three temporary HP as a little like iridescent shield surrounds my armor. Nice. Right, so look, at you, man. look at you. Did, did force field bitches. Nice. Make a strength save to avoid being grappled. Yes. Yeah, and she got. I Wait, rolled for the grapple. Roll I don't think so. She? No, that was to avoid That's getting prone, knocked right? over. No, the grapple you got is knocked not, prone the by the just happens. If you get hit by the bites, the grapple happens. just happens. Yeah. It just happens. Oh, it's because it's you're, you're That's so fucking awful. I hate That's it. That's awesome. That's why you also didn't have to make a save for that, Brooks. You also just got grappled. It's kind of happened. Um, back to the top of the initiative, Davian. Looking at that one that's got Daigon in its mouth. Mm. <laughs> I command Oni. And Daigon's like down. eyes are fluttering. She's looking like she's not having a good time. <clears throat> Blood. Oh no! Out. It's bad. Uh, seven to hit with the yes. bird. Doesn't, doesn't hit, unfortunately. Onu strikes down, but because of the weird positioning uh, that it now has taken to to keep uh, Daigon grappled and the collection of your friends around it, it kind of hesitates and misses and flies back All right. up. I'll shoot my bow. All right. Oh no. Oh like no. 11. <laughs> 11. Also doesn't hit, unfortunately. Unbelievable. Bad sound. Um, You're fine. Hmm. Uh, nah, I, I, I guess... I guess that'll do it. I guess it's gonna do it. Okay. Um, Daigon. Uh, I'm gonna just start furiously swiping at its mouth with my claws, and I'm gonna spend a key point to do flurry of blows. So my regular attack is with my physical <clears throat> arms, and then the flurry of blows, I use each set of spectral arms to do it. You, uh, yeah, you will have this advantage during your attack rolls because of the yeah, yeah, this yeah. type of grapple causing the uh, restrained status effect. Okay, a normal mm -hmm. grapple doesn't, like a D&D &D Beyond doesn't say I get disadvantage. No, but, but that's restrained, uh, not this, this This grapple restrains you, so you have disadvantage okay, well, attacks. First one with disadvantage. Oh, one of them was a 19. The other one's a 14. So 19 to hit that on hits. my physical arms. So he takes six points of slashing damage from my claws. Very good. And now the two from my spectral arms, these deal force damage because they're the spectral arms. So the first one, 
I rolled a one and a two, so a natural one on the first one. Doesn't and hit. then the next one, fuck me, a 17 and another natural one. Mm, that's, that's unlucky. Unlucky. The There's a lot of ones this session. Don't phase him at all. Mm. Literally don't phase him. Um, no. All right. Is that your turn? No. Yeah. Because I can't move. My movement is zero. And that's my action and my bonus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yikes. All right. The last run. Uh, the spectral nunchucks is going to fucking hit the same one it was. I probably should have tried to uh, free myself previously. from the grapple, but I'm stupid. Uh, were you, hit you were hitting the one... Whatever one didn't get hit, whatever one Onu's not hitting. Yeah, okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The the one one has, that's, the, is, that's the one that has uh, uh, Brooks grappled. Oh, that's Brooks grappled? It's okay. the one that you're attacking now. Uh, okay, yeah. It's whatever one, yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> 25 to hit. That hits. Yes, sir, okay. absolutely. Oh, fucking right dice, that's the right dice, though. Ooh, for, uh, for 12 points of damage. 12 points of damage? Ooh. Mm. And then I will run up to Daigon. Okay. And I'll cast uh, Cure Wounds at level 2. You wonderful human. <laughs> is that a touch uh, spell? It is. Did you like reach your hand like in between like the, uh, the, the jaws of this No, it's not, touch. it's not like... There's plenty of Daigon like, hanging out either side. It's not like, like Daigon, like, yeah. like, is it? It's just like hanging out. So it's like, no, you can just... Let, I was training you to be very brave, right, prick? But fuck you, I guess. I guess no. you. I guess you. <laughs> no, 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 no. A Lazarin's not. A Lazarin is a lot of things. Character, no, no, no. Dude, a Lazarin. Time, you're just gonna fucking your pussy. No, no. All right. A Lazarin. A Lazarin is a lot of things. Brave. Brave is not one of yeah, them. Next time, <laughs> next time does I'm I just grab my tail? To hype up your character. Shut the fuck up, Clayman. Take it. No. The fucking. Grab my tail. That's hanging out. Fucking pull the tail here. <laughs> God, ah! it's so annoying trying so to fucking give this guy a compliment and he still doesn't. Yeah, how much am I healing for, please? Uh, you between heal two and ten. <laughs> uh, you don't heal because Quiver didn't want the save me. Touch. True. Yeah, what exactly. Was it? Uh, fourteen. Thank Ooh. you. Nice. That's and I'll just survive dude. the next hit now. Uh, and then you if know. I've got any movement left. Bom, 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 back in the fuck away from <laughs> um <laughs> you didn't move at all until now i didn't right? move first time no then uh, you will have used 30 feet to get there so nope never mind i'm just gonna hang out bikes to the crocodile okay. well done. at least you know oh, its oh. mouth is busy right now True. So it, it, can, it can tail you. attack you but it can't bite you fantastic news <laughs> exactly uh brooks um okay so i'm grappled and restrained right correct which gives me disadvantage on attack rolls. Correct. But nowhere in the rules does it say that while grappled and restrained, I can't attempt to grapple the crocodile. But I'm going to say that you can't because of the position. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Because uh, DM says. All right, unless fuck you, it. Unless, just... unless you can elevator pitch style persuade me. How you are able to grapple a lar a huge beast while you are trapped in its jaws? Go for it. But otherwise, okay, so wait, 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 where, when, where is it biting hold on. currently? Yeah. When two people are grappled, are they not both considered in like in that interaction? Like no, no, okay, no, no because you if you are the grappler, you thing. can move yeah. the grappler around. So unless you can, oh, you can move them around. Yes. That's sick. Unless yeah, okay. you can persuade me how you are okay. planning how, to how, grapple a huge beast while you're trapped in its jaws. Set the scene for me. Where is it biting me currently? It has its jaws wrapped around your fucking torso. Okay, so it's like Bear that. Bear in mind, like... this crocodile is considered huge. It's like so that, right? It takes up a 15-foot gonna... square. I can... It's huge, not large? It's huge. Yeah. These are huge These crocodiles? Are huge. I don't huge think points. I can grapple a creature that's huge. Oh, there you go. There can you? Go. No, it's only one side of the right? And you probably okay. have disadvantage on something that's considered large to begin with, so... Okay. Alright. <laughs> I was gonna say that I'll fucking headlock it, no. but if it's huge... It's then, it is huge. Then I'm... I, um... <laughs> okay. Dave Rind. <laughs> it's gonna take my action to attempt to break the grapple, right? Correct. Which means I won't then be able to attack at all this round, because I can't Attack as a bone section unless I attack. Correct. Two weapon fighting, baby. Uh, baby. Fuck it. I'm just gonna hit it. Where you attack with disadvantage. All uh, of that. Thirteen. Doesn't hit. Okay. That's just fine. Misses. 
Uh, fuck you, Flurry of Blows. Okay. You can do that now! Spend yeah. that key point, baby. So, I can't move my, my arm with my fucking hatchet, so I'm just gonna try and punch it in the face. <laughs> just do a quick Hell yeah. jab jab. Hook, uh, hook. That's not bad, that's a Spark 21. Hits. Uh, which is a... Only a... Fucking... Um... Uh, one. English is hard, Jesus fucking Christ. Christ. <laughs> I agree. Or six points. It's shabby, it's shabby. That was my lowest roll. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna do it again. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna try and punch it in the fucking snars. Fifteen? Fifteen hits, yep. Thank fuck for that. <clears throat> Uh, that's max damage. That's uh, nine points. Cool. Legendary damage. Tried the axe. Axe didn't work. Punch it in the head twice. Yeah, this one is starting to look pretty fucking rough. You can feel the grip slightly, like, lessen around you, but still not quite loose enough for you to be able to squeeze out. But it's uh, you can feel by the amount of tension it has on his jaws that it's definitely, it's it's getting weaker. Is that your turn? Oh. Cool. Uh, I'm going to... Shit in its mouth as a f I don't fucking know. Yes, that's my turn. Nice. That's kind of gross. <laughs> um, what else can I do? I'm pissed. Well, that means you're gonna shit your pants first. Syrian. Oh has my a turn. god. <laughs> and Syrian Save is us, going Siren. to ready her bow, and you see another arrow. As, as soon as it gets knocked into the bow, these thorns sprouting all along the shaft and arrowhead. And it's gonna this time take aim and fire it at the one. Um, ah, it's still the one that has Daigon in, in, in its uh, mouth. Uh, that is a 19 to hit, so it hits. Uh, can I say I do favor foe after I know whether it hits or not, Duke? Like favor foe damage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. when, when you can assign it is when you land an attack. So. Okay, so she's Good going to use her favorite foe damage. Nice. Gives her an extra d4. Um, ah. <clears throat> wait, 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 wait. What's the... What are you using for her arrows? What do you mean? What's the spell on the arrows? It's not a spell. It's uh, uh, her subclass perk that she gets. Is it concentration? Because favored foe is also concentration. No, it's just it's just once a turn you can add okay. a d6. Just damage. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So she deals a total of uh, five plus three is eight plus three uh, is eleven plus two, so thirteen points of damage. Nice. As the arrow impacts the crocodile again and again, these these needles kind of shoot out of the arrow and just kind of just just make these tiny incisions. All along this crocodile's body. Uh, <clears throat> that's her turn. Crocodile that has brooks in its mouth. <sighs> is anyone else in melee with that guy? Or is it uh, just brooks? I with am. brooks is crocodile, Kes. no. Kes. Kes. I am. Kes? Oh. Okay. It is in that case going to multi attack, tail swipe Kes while nice. biting onto brooks. Uh, so, Kes. With the tail swipe, that's ugh, that's a natural 18, so I'm going to assume uh, that yeah. it is. <laughs> Guess you take... Um, 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And I need to make you... I need you to make a uh, strength saving throw, please. Okay. Uh, I also need to make a concentration check, I think. Uh, wait, what have, uh, you, what have you... Oh, is... Um, Shadow Blade. Yeah, Shadow Blade is concentration. concentration. Yeah. Uh, I got 17 for... Wait, strength saving throw? Strength saving throw. Yeah, yeah, 17. That's I have enough. A you, don't get, you don't get knocked prone. Uh, DC 10 for your concentration check. 16. Okay, so the I'm shadow bite is still up. Uh, Brooks, it has advantage on the bites because you're already right there. Oh. Uh, dirty 20 to hit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm angry. Don't worry. <laughs> Twenty-one piercing damage divided by two, so ten points of piercing damage. Is your rage? Fuck me. So I would have taken. Uh, what fucking? I bite. I would not unconscious. Forty-seven <laughs> points by now. Something like I that. I wasn't raging. Yeah. Something <clears throat> like that. 
Um, but you are, so there we go. No worries. That is the crocodile's turn. Okay. Awful. Um, okay. I'm going to use my bonus action uh, for two weapon fighting. Oh. Um, and draw one of my daggers and attack with that one, and then I'll attack with the Shadow Blade. The Shadow Blade main hand, dagger yeah. off hand. Let's go. Hell yeah. Excuse me. Nice. Uh, that is uh, 19 to hit with the uh, Shadow Blade. That hits. Uh, uh, Roll the damage for this first. Yeah, yeah. That's. Uh, do I add my. I do, don't I? I do add dex. Uh, not to your dagger. Not to my dagger, but to my Shadow Blade. Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. So that. Oh, actually. You would add it to your dagger. Because I have prof- I, I have I know I have proficiency no, with the shadow blade automatically. No, you don't. Uh, I do, 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 do. Uh, it counts as a simple melee we- weapon with which you're proficient. Uh, it doesn't specify that it uses your casting modifier or anything. So yeah, it would be dex. Okay, cool. So that's fourteen uh, psychic damage um, plus you... two thunder. Okay, as you jam your Shadow Blade into this crocodile, Brooks, you feel the grip around you completely hey. get, gets let loose, and this cro- crocodile just goes limp and collapses onto the onto the ground, uh, seemingly dead. So you still have your offhand weapon attack that you can now choose to do on the other one? Uh, I'm going to th- throw it at the other crocodile. Ooh. Okay, I'll allow it. Uh, yeah. Nice. That is... Uh, 19 again. Yeah, that hits. Um, and damage for it. Very small. Uh, four, because I don't add anything. Is so I rolled max. Mm-hmm. Bruh. How much damage was that, sorry? Mm-hmm. Four. Four points uh, of damage. Alrighty. Whatever type piercing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, is that your turn? Mm-hmm. This crocodile, still up, is going to multi-attack again and is going to tail swipe at Elazrin. Oh, that's crazy. Disadvantage. <clears throat> oh, disadvantage, because he's because uh, fucking Jax, right? Because it just hears a fucking loud-ass buzzing in its ears. Disadvantage makes that a, a 12 to hit. Oh, it's fucking misses! So you just gonna like jump over the tail as it just swipes under your, under your legs. Uh, wait, which wait. means that instead of advantage on Daigon, it has norm- it's a normal, normal because of Jax, so... For the bite. Um, 14, Daigon? Misses! Somehow. There you go. I rolled very low there. So both attacks miss, combat, Crocodile guys. Angie, Jax, it's your turn. I'm just using all my arms to hold its jaws from closing on me. So it's trying to bite, I'm just like, no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. So I, had, I had things actually work in combat. Dude! Level three, boys. not Pretty useless, good. question mark, exclamation mark. <laughs> Can't wait for the next journal <laughs> entry by Davy and how he's like, everybody suddenly over has all learned all these new things that I've never seen before. <laughs> not massive suit so fucking armor. Overnight. <laughs> Why the fuck did they do this? I didn't see the bracelet shit. Like, I heard clanging yeah. and I come back uh, yeah. and he's in a full fucking Why robo the fuck did they not bit. do this for the Hydra fight? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> They were holding back. Right. Fucking idiots. I'm gonna fuck in. Just look this crap. Oh, wait. I'm gonna move so it's not. So Daigon's not directly in front of me. Okay. At the crock. And I'm gonna fucking. Well, bam! With my hands. I appreciate Ooh. you. And cast Thunder Wave on this Ooh. bitch. And then Constitution saving throw. On save? Yes, sir. Five. No, I'm glad I it didn't failed. take that spell. Ah, dumb bitch. Okay, I gotta roll dice. You roll dice during this game? It's crazy. I know, dude. Right? <laughs> okay, so it takes nine thunder dice. damage and is pushed ten feet away from me. Uh, okay, bear with me here. Because as it's pushed away, you moved away. Uh, we'll say that for the purposes of this, you've moved towards the side of the crocodile where Lazarin is also standing after healing Daigon. So that you don't fucking Look. flatten a Lazarin with a huge crocodile. Yeah, yeah, over. yeah, yeah. That's what I would have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. That funny though. <laughs> Got it. It kind oh of like gets God. launched into the corpse of his of his of his ally and just kind of. Pfft. Anything else you want to do with your turn? Um, just gonna fucking dab. Why not? 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Bonus action dab. Fuck it. Always time. For, always time for a dab. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, back on top of the initiative. Uh, Davigan and Onu. Oh, also that boom can be heard for three hundred feet. Just. Good it. to know. Yep. Oh, so you're gonna oh, send oh, the I can't a giant <laughs> ape number two to come rumbling in. <laughs> here we, here we, here we go. He's finally here. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate you. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Are they both? They're not both still standing, right? No, yeah, the no, only, only one. one still standing is the one. The... Daigon, by the way, you just got fucking taken with it as it like moved uh, yeah, ten feet. I, just... I, I tried. <laughs> Onu, Onu's going in, dude. I mean, oh yeah, it's not really only one way to do. It. What am I? What am I going to bonus action hunter's mark? What am I, an idiot? <laughs> <coughs> Natural one. Mm, no. oh, once it. again, Onu oh, just kind fuck, of man. hesitant and making it miss. Still getting used to being in this shape and form. And I mean, you know, the new... thing got flung. Let's just say he, he was going in and then it got thrown and he was like, oh, fuck, and miss. All right, let's sure. just pretend it wasn't sure. my fault. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, but a 15 <laughs> for the longbow. 15 hits with the longbow. 15 with the longbow into a five points of piercing damage. How do you want oh. to finish him off? Oh! Yay! I'm alive. Damn it, dude. <clears throat> you know, given the way that these things kill. elapsed in time in D&D, you know, the rounds of six seconds, mm -hmm. we'll say that I fucking while he's in the air as he's being f flung or whatever the fuck around just a, a, a clean accurate shot just a last arrow between his little alligator eyes lights out all right and with that Daikon, you also feel the like tension and the pressure of the jaws push subside and you're able to just wiggle your way out of the mouth push myself out can I try and take a tooth with me as I wiggle out? Use all six of my arms uh, to try and sure, get make a, a tooth out? Make a wisdom check, I guess, in your case, instead of a strength check. <laughs> Given... Okay, so I I, let, I hit two arrows and That's I missed twice. Yeah. Can I still recover all of my arrows? Make a survival check. I'm going to go pick up my dagger. Yeah. And I dismiss the shadow Natural blades, one? but just... You can only just recover the arrows is. that you hit with. Sorry. That's two natural ones in a row on the corner. Is this the most nat ones in a session already? Yeah, there's been a lot. Did yeah. you roll for your uh, yeah. check, Daigon? I rolled a nine. Ah, oh, dude, they, these are lodged they're in there, bro. In there. They're they're stuck. Yeah. Okay, so I try and take a tooth. I fail, and you just so you just see me and okay, then I kick the alligator, <laughs> and I'm mad at it. Do I join you? Are on like land, right? They're not in the water. <clears throat> I mean, you definitely noticed the like cat hissing at the crocodile. Yeah. How, how <laughs> injured is everyone looking? Yeah. Um. Uh, uh, not great. I'm, I'm bloodied. Anybody? There's a big seeping wound through the side okay. of me. I am. I'm. I'm, bloody. I'm almost bloodied, but not quite. Bro Brooks, come over here. Let's get Walk you over. Let's get you patched up. Here yeah, now. <laughs> Sirin also quickly goes to recover the arrows that she hits uh, uh, with. And... Uh, I can gain... get my dagger, right? You yeah. gain eight points of health. Uh, I... <laughs> Hang on. I'm no longer bloodied, but only just. I, I will I will then also cast Mending on Brooks to like fix any of his clothes are like <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Guess who's need like, heating as well? At the edge of water or something? Uh, yes, please. I'll do a little clap clap for you too. What was that? Uh, cleaned up. Duke? Are we at like water's edge? Where oh, the, yeah. Yeah. You oh, you're like a river bank. bank. Yeah. So um, between the last thing, my dagger so... starts skinning it. Can we stop all talking yeah, at the same time, good. please? For my sanity. Oh, Thank you. What was that? Dude? Well, okay. Yeah. Anyway, I, I just said <laughs> Oni's gonna come down and oh, Koiva. <laughs> Oni's gonna land and and just kind of you know vibe standing in the water up to his little bird knees. Okay. Maybe like. A fish, I don't know. Sure. But yeah, I'm going to... I would actually like to assist Jax in skinning. Um, okay. Well, I, maybe you should assist me? <laughs> uh, it depends on uh, what kind of skill it might take. I feel, I feel like it's going to be natural survival. Yeah. Yeah, I'll assist you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, right, I don't so have a bad survival, but... Let's skin better. some beast. That's a 10. I need some new dice, dude. Jonas? My dice is <laughs> fucking with me today. Wait, if I'm assisting him, would he have an advantage? Yeah. Oh, yes. No, you're right. 15. Beautiful. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah. Nice. Actually, I was like, wait. 15? Yeah. 
Okay, okay, okay. We'll say that you uh, salvage about three pounds worth of crocodile skin. Ooh, okay. If where um, the water is, where the stork is, I'll I just I'll, I'll, I'll let you just throw that my bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take it. Okay. I'm I'm just kneeling beside the crocodile. Yeah, I mean they're big fucking crocs, dude. So like with that roll, like I'll say I'll say uh, can I, seems decent. Can I attempt to take one of the teeth out, knowing that Dagon struggled? Next strength check. <clears throat> Unless you want to be all surgical about it, but uh, otherwise just fucking no. strength. <laughs> I, I eighteen. Yeah, you managed to dislodge one of its like sharp teeth without any issue. Just <laughs> I will go and hand it to Dagon, and before well, I mean she can't say anything. I was gonna say before she says anything, <laughs> I'm just gonna go and hand it to Dagon and then just turn away. Okay, go back to whatever everyone else is doing. Guess I it's would... just like fascinated by the crocodiles and looking at it. I'd like to go t to Jax and just kind of give him a. a... A pat on the back and give him vigilant blessing. No, nice oh, is, that, is that where I get advantage on initiative? That is when you get advantage on initiative. It has, <laughs> yes, it, nice. it has no end. It's not like a time thing, and that's cool. So you roll initiative or use it on someone else. You have it forever until it's used once. <laughs> no, How like long do Dragon's spectral arms time. last? Ten minutes. So they're still how, chilling for. A few and how minutes. long does the shadow blade <laughs> last? A minute. She just missed it. I think. Yeah, I just oh, missed her shadow blade. Yeah. Oh my! Oh, my, arm, my arms are still there. I'm gonna let them stay the full ten minutes. For a minute, so cool. if my spiritual weapon is just gonna be like vibing around me. Like, yeah, the nunchucks. That's like nunchucks. A, like a halo. <laughs> Siri kind of looks at it all, and I thought I was the only one that um, learned some new tricks after yesterday's fight, but it seems we all have some new tricks up our sleeves. Hmm. Yeah, seems, seems like. like... Well, well. I don't know what you're talking about. I just about get that, things. But... It's being nice. Well, yeah, our, uh, this is talents all track. around seem to have come quite away overnight. Thank you, Blue. And uh, those are some big fucking crocodiles. They hmm. are. Yes. Are they not usually that big? Um, um, there are small ones. Um, it's They're a normal size. size. We've come across... Let's say um, there's probably more crocodiles around, smaller. It seems that these particular ones were the ones in charge. So I suggest we get going. Mm. Yeah, Before the we kids come power home. We create a power vacuum in the crocodile. Well, Fantastic. Not necessarily. More like you just made a bunch of crocodile orphans. Well, wait, uh, I suppose. How, how, how big are the, the, the babies? Usually, about twice your size still. Well, I am I am pretty small, so that's not very mm. difficult, I mm. suppose. I'm just a small little cat. Whereas these are about you know fifteen foot in in length. Uh, the, the children, young adults, anywhere between five and ten. Oh. Yeah, still not something that like wraps around my leg anytime soon. Mm. <sighs> Although, got some fine leather. Might have one wrapped around my waist soon enough. True, true. I hear they make great boots. Yeah, I hear your your kind has an interest in pelts and others of animals to fashion things with them, so might fetch a nice amount of money in the city. Oh, well, let's get going before I should yeah, say children on. come home. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, uh, direct we'll only we'll to the skies again. Away from Sethka, so Keep going. Oh, that's right. I will doff my armor as it goes back into my wrist plates or my bracelets. Oh yeah. And you keep going. You carry on, and around noon, a little a little after, um, you uh, arrive back in Sethka, greeted by Nuxa, who uh, immediately beckons you to come towards him as he's sitting uh, around a fire eating some food, and he looks at you all. You've returned. I assume. Successful. Um, I still have have the head of the of the priest, so I'm just gonna like lift it You've out. You've been bag. dragging it around with us this whole time. <laughs> yep. It's very I guess successful. I need to bring it back. Yeah. So one of the Hydra heads and the other one, I think Jeremiah. Even though <laughs> it, it just, just like wasn't um, Jeremiah, because 
So there was a Hydra. Hmm. Not anymore, though. It's dead. Mm. I assumed such. All right. Um. Well. I'm assu I'm assuming I don't have to worry about my tribe being in any form of danger or threat from these tribes. Well, I mean, not from we them. We scared them shitless, so I think we'll be fine. It seemed like the whole temple disbanded as soon as they s well, as soon as they saw that yeah. the priest and the hydra <clears throat> had both been dealt with. Yeah, it seems that your information was correct. That destroying the leader made them disband rather quickly. I intend on traveling there myself soon with a small band of warriors and seeing if anyone returns to live there and see if I can put someone in charge there and create somewhat of a community the way we have here. Uh, I assume they'll fare better under your leadership than... Well, I don't well, want they to be the one in charge. Things. I have my hands full at this temple, but... Well, not you I trust, yourself. Someone I trust. Exactly. The leadership of someone with your uh, ideology, I suppose, at least with regards to the settlers. Like overseeing a court? Perhaps. Of course, so I'm sure there's, there's bad on both sides, but I suppose Absolutely. the more good on this side, the easier it will be to convince the <laughs> others, I know. Um, Siren seemed eager to come with us to Eldalon and perhaps try and be somewhat of a diplomat. Luxa looks at Siren, and Siren kind of like looks at you. Is that so? And she kind of, after like tossing a bit of a glare your way, <laughs> Devian. <laughs> I was hoping I could break the news myself, but yes, I want to see if I could be able to learn from these people and set up connections same way you have with New Daramuth. I think it would prove beneficial for both us and them. And Luxa kind of looks at, at you as a group and... And you say you'll help her with this? Oh, definitely. I'll, um, I'll be her. Her uh, guys, I'll make sure she'll be safe, no matter what. Mm. Then Siren, you have my blessing. And Siren kind of nods and... Alright, I'll, um, I'll pack my things and... And she then turns to you all. Um, <clears throat> Would you mind we spend some time here for the rest of the day so I can make, say goodbye to my friends and family as I probably won't be seeing them for a little while? Is that okay with you? I would be much happier to stay here for a few hours. Maybe I'm going to go right me. I need drink. to draw on my map anyways. Celebrate our victory and then <clears throat> leave for what? New Daramuth you... early in the morning. What do you want to drink in celebration? Um, There is a certain amalgamation of... of Spirits, snake venom, and um, sometimes a bit of rabbit blood. But um, I'll take rum, brandy, whiskey. I'm not picky. Yeah, I assume Brooks is probably carrying around something we could this enjoy. Looks like a, this yes. looks like a time for a Merlot. And I'll pull out my bottle <laughs> of Merlot. <laughs> I've had. Was it Merlot? Yes, yeah, it's a red wine. It's wine. By the time you packed up your things, it should be fine. I'll like start to uncork it, let it breathe. <laughs> you know, I'm sure around the jungle, I'm sure you've got plenty of, I don't know, fruits or honey or anything that you might be able to turn into actual, you know. Well, we, um. Drinks we, we with less get, rabbit blood and venom. We do get shipments of supplies from, um,. No Daramuth, so we have grown accustomed to your uh, cultures, you know, oh. spirits and drinks but, a bit. Mm, of course, they open their trade with you because no one knows the jungle better, at least yet. Mm -hmm. If you could find somewhere. The, I'm sure the people of New Daramuth and of Eldalon as well 
value alcohol more than you might consider. If you could come up with something, something new and unique. I mean, just look at him. Jungle. That is when it works. Right. Something I'll, unique uh, to the jungle. That might be a very valuable I leave, And let my people know before I leave to put some thought into that. I, I think, you know, Brooks might be the, the best person to ask when it comes to sort of <laughs> concocting uh, beverages, but I think you might he have some, human. some wonderful things available to you here that uh, could make something really interesting. Hmm. All right. Let's think about it. Has drinking been a human trait? Well, I, that... I don't hang around a lot of humans. I just thought it was since, you know, you're the only example of that I have. The first human. tavern we went to <laughs> we, we have was full of, of elves, group. tieflings, goliaths. Mm -hmm. The Dolkin. The Dolkin. Yeah, but you seem to make more of a habit of it. So I just thought that that was like a human thing. To like habitually drink alcohol rather than just enjoy it. When have you seen me drink since we left the festival? Other than like one when we're having a meal. Well, you always smell like it. <laughs> That's because I've got like 12 fucking bottles in my bag. We haven't mm -hmm. had anywhere to wash I don't have any properly. bottles in my bag. Yeah, I'll just sign to cast. I don't think any one of us comes close to having 12 bottles on their person. I mean, I've look, I've it's. Gone. It was my job for a long time. If I was that much of a drinker, surely I'd have drank all of this that's in my bag. I just thought you were more sensible about drinking during like combat. You, you think I've just been, like, drinking in my tent at night? No. Well, you did try oh, tent I mean, We could be attacked at any point. Which is why I figured you weren't drinking in the... Anything in, could have been going on. At this point, Siren kind of just, like, leaves the conversation to go. <laughs> <laughs> she just skulks <laughs> away to go talk to, to her family. Time anyways. <laughs> Actually, while, I, while, you know, after I put in my last word there and they're still sort of talking, I want to step away and see if I can kind of get out of your shot with... Uh, Nuxa. Okay. If that's possible. And I would like, or, you know, at least, you know, on the low low. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> take out the gemstone from the temple. Mm -hmm. And just sort of... Would you like everyone uh, to deafen for this conversation? Oh, I mean, I don't know. I think maybe, <laughs> as long as no one's eavesdropping. Uh, if you, like, present... Like show Nuxa the gemstone, he will probably pull you into the temple to have okay. a discussion with you. So at this point, we'll say that everybody here gets the deafen for a wee bit. Okay. Bye! So it seems you've found what you were looking for. Yes. Um, <laughs> something inside me says maybe it found me, but I... Have it in my possession now, and something tells me that there's more than just one, perhaps two more. Would you know anything about that? Perhaps I should have disclosed that I know more about this gemstone than I wanted you to believe when I when you first mentioned it. But it seems Kosuth has deemed you worthy. Of. I can tell by the fact that you did not set ablaze the moment you touched the gem. Probably a good job that no one else touched it then. Mm. Kosuth is. Mm. If you heard the name before. No, never. Kosuth is um, a primordial being. Lord of flames, as he gets called. Somewhat self-appointed god of elemental fire. He created these tears many, many, many eons ago in the elemental plane of fire, where he, with the intention of, of granting each one to 
a different tribe of his followers. But as time has moved on, through whatever means or reasons, the tears ended up on our plane, on our continent, due to Agrand being very closely in, ta in, in taps with the elemental planes. Most of the deities here uh, worshipped by us uh, as natives, I suppose, have their roots in the elemental planes. Hence, the storm that shrouded us for so long. Kosuth is very powerful. He doesn't necessarily serve evil or good. He mostly just kind of has his own agenda. But him being not a true god or deity, but definitely the lord of the elemental plane of fire means that it's got some important task he wants you to do, and finding these tears are merely a test to see if you're capable. In exchange, though, however, great power might be on your path, if you're willing to accept. So... Be careful, though. Neutral, or good, or evil means very little. He has his own agenda. Doesn't care what it costs as long as he achieves his goals. And when dealing with primordial beings as old and powerful as him, just got to make sure that you, if you do end up bargaining, pick your words very carefully. Make sure there's so no. You, you, you wouldn't for... be able to take this from me without. No. No, 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 no. Oh. Okay. Pusseth seems well. to have plans for you. And that's all I can tell. That's all I know. I'm told, I suppose instructed, to go to St Streeton in northwest of here, or northwest of Eldalon. Hmm. Apparently, that's where I should start looking for the next stone. It's close to home, then. You said that... the tears were given to tribes that worship Kosuth. Is that... that's not here, but that's... No, that's in the Plane of Fire. So when they ended up here, one tribe ended up with one. Um... Did they stumble across it? Did it choose them? Like I appear to have been chosen, what might have become of the other two? There could very well be that Kosuth has deemed multiple people worthy and they are in the possession of others and it is somewhat of a game or a race to see whoever finds all three and possesses all three first. Or well, it could very much be Kosuth has tactfully placed these tears in places where he wants you and only you to find him. That I do not know. All, all I can say is, is, is thank you for your help. And, um, well, I suppose try not to uh, say too much in front of my companions for the time being. Well, these secrets are yours to share, not mine. So. Mm. Well, if I can make it back here, I'll let you know how things are going. If not, maybe maybe I'll write or something. I don't know if you... I'll send a, a pigeon. But uh, I, I'm in your debt for this information. Truly. I you felt a little lost. You that debt by making sure our village isn't going to be attacked by Hydra, so... That's fair. That's fair. Right. I shall uh, return to my friends and if you want, do my very uh, best not to get this all out of my possession. Spend uh, the night uh, in the same beds that you spent uh, your previous night here in, uh, in the temple. 
There should be food and, and drink plenty for you to uh, take a bit of a breather after what you've all been through. And that gives Sirin some time to, you know, say her goodbyes, gather her belongings and whatnot. We'll do our best. Well, I'm, I'm sure you you already understand, but we, we will we'll do our best to keep her safe, of course. Good. She's in good hands. Uh, Elazarin and myself already have a rapport with uh, the general at Eldalon and somewhat with the, uh, well, some of the people in charge. Anyway, that's why we're out here. I would appreciate you keeping an eye on her. She she's not my child, but as close as I have to one, so I would appreciate keeping her out of harm's way. All right, well, thank you again for the wise words. And I'll uh, take my leave and return to the others. All right. Just, <laughs> Onu kind of huddling in tow. back, baby. Yeah. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> yes, heads back. How was it? Mm. Mm. Yeah, that uh, one fucked Snake Man. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's my it surgery. finally right happened. Oh, wake up. All right, uh, for the purpose of this uh, and us being roughly at the halfway mark, is there anything you want to do specifically today before you go to bed? Or can we just kind of... I don't think so. I'm happy to... You're happy to... Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy to... All right. We'll you don't have to worry out, I'm... but I spend the next at least 20 minutes arguing with Cass about not being an alcoholic. Sounds good. So, uh, yeah. as the day progresses, you have some food, uh, celebrate a little bit your victory. Um, the people of, of, of Sethka are very grateful for you, making sure that their village didn't get stomped by a Hydra on the way to Eldilon. Um, you get offered the same bedding that you were offered before in the temple. And you wake up the next day and prepare for your travel Arrested. to New Darama to pick up your horses and carts. Mm -hmm. And right. we'll take a break here before, and you, uh, before you take off. Thanks for being here, buddy. Sweet. Thanks so much for the raid. We'll be back in like five to ten minutes after our, our halfway break. If you're new around here, hit the follow button. God we are, we are getting closer and closer to 200 followers. It would be awesome to hit that uh, goal at any point in the future. Thanks for hanging, y'all. Be right back.
to at least learn Hello. basics. Like, have basic. Hello. Hello. We're talking about languages in D and D. Because oh. I mentioned that if anyone wanted to learn sign language, no one's asked, but Dagon would probably teach. But then, according like to D and D rules, learn. it takes two long years time. to learn a language. Yeah, uh -huh. it takes very long. It takes very long. Oh, oh good gosh! Set a noise. Wake up! Oh, oh, oh! I, just, <laughs> that's that's point, wake up. I, I keep forgetting to bring up to you, Dutch. What? We should. You should bring the music up to the level that it is before we start during the break. Oh Hold yeah. On. Right. That's, that's kind it. of ballpark it. Both. Like I yeah. don't. I don't remember how loud it is before the start. Smile. Anymore. That's how I do it too. It's kind of ballpark it. Check the gain, bro. Can't you fucking... just do it. Post do you even smile? gain? No, I don't. Get them All right. gain, bro. Um, Any hey, gainers? Buddy. Welcome back. Gamers on Tuesday. It is now uh, the next day. You all wake up inside the temple uh, in Sethka. Sirin uh, kind of waiting outside the temple with her belongings packed and, and ready to go, just waiting for you all to come outside. Uh, how do you start your day? With a jungle remedy. And jungle remedy. Nice. Yes. Yeah, I. I, I... Oh, I actually forgot to mark up a Russian last time, but yes. One <gasps> <Cheater>. remedy. <clears throat> cheating, Rat cheating. And... Are we, do we need to eat a ration? Or is there food in the village we can eat? Oh, yeah, no, no, we, we, we Good point. ate, yeah, we ate last night. And I'm uh, still we eating a ration. So, um, so too, you have to leave the comfort of the temple to find and out. I will, I will scour the... I'll go looking for food then, save my rations. Fuck that. I, I will scour the food <laughs> that they have for meat and i will just feed onu i have no idea if he requires sustenance but i will feed <laughs> onu. Okay. Um, there is some food being prepared outside um yeah. it's mostly meat-based foods I'm as okay that is that. kind of the yuan tea diet small game and critters do they, they do they eat like anything like are they yeah they're not too picky no any, so any it, small it's game like or critters they can off, get their hands on off cuts or anything like that whereas you know, with a a human butcher, it would be like, oh, yeah, just give us the rump tongues or whatever. And no, it's like, it's yeah. Not, not really. It's just like, oh, we've caught quails this morning, so it's going to be quails this time. Oh, we've okay. caught some well, rabbits. It's going to be I rabbit. Like just, in spirited yeah. away, in my mind, I was like, oh, well, I'm, yeah. I'm feeding the bird. I'll just give Onu, like, some awful, like, organs and offcuts that people won't eat. I mean, but they're snake you... people. I don't think they're too picky. They're not too picky, you know. So, yeah. So just, I'll just give me the tail. Give... Onu some smaller birds to sure. eat. Sure, man. Feels kind of weird, but <laughs> I mean, big fish eat small fish, right? It's kind of that same concept, I guess. True. I mean, big, but I'm sure there are I like mean, eagles do eat other birds. Yeah, 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 exactly. Fox do as well. Fox do as well. Welcome, um, welcome, dude. And you, uh, uh, you're uh, um, excuse me, Ciro. He's a gamer. <laughs> sure, man. Fish, right? Sure, dude. Right, uh, uh, so as you me. all kind of... <laughs> Bye! <laughs> as you all kind of... <laughs> kind of, you know, start your day with a jungle remedy and some food, whether it's a ration or food presented to you by the people of Sethka. Sirin uh, looks at you all, packed and ready to go. Um, shall we set off? Hmm. Uh, yes, um, I, I do have a question for you. Hmm? Um, do you know where more of those ponds that grow the pink algae are? Um, I could possibly guide you to one nearby. It's, um, we harvest those quite frequently, but if you're lucky, there might be some new algae there. Uh, that would be wonderful if you could. Sure. No problem. All right. All right. Um... Oh, I mean, yeah, lead the, lead the way by all means. Just, um, while, while we're walking, Cass, if you wouldn't mind, if you wouldn't mind a word. Mm hmm? Um, so, you, you mentioned that you sort of have a, a, f a friend. Mm. You talk to. Yeah. And is, gives you powers? Yes, that's all my spells. What do you do in return? What do you mean? What does your friend gain from giving giving you powers? 
Um, does it have to be that transactional? If he's well, my I'm friend. Just, I'm, 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 right, right, right. I'm just curious. Like, if it is, is it is it transactional? No, no. Just out of the goodness of... He likes to make sure that I stay safe. For any reason? Because or... he would be upset if something happened friend. to me. Yeah. Right, because you're his friend, right? <laughs> <clears throat> so, did you have to do anything to... I'm not, I get, I'm not saying it's transactional again, but like, uh, find something for him or... No, I met him when I was really young. Right. And I got in a lot of trouble growing up. Um, put myself in a lot of unnecessary danger because it was really interesting. Uh, and, um, he ended up saving me a couple of times, but, and then he just kind of stayed around, make sure I didn't hurt myself by accident or on purpose. Hmm. Okay. Just... Yeah, it, this doesn't have anything to do with the carts and horses. They're that's separate, though. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I guess it's similar in the way that like Jax has has Brooks as his like pet or whatever. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, there might be a transaction there. We don't know. Mm. Uh, <clears> oh. <throat> In the, 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 I, don't, I don't know why they put the tent up. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Um, sake. <laughs> what's your, what's your blue friend called? I call him Blue. Blue. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> um, Sirin, hmm? lead the way. Yeah, I was kind of assumed that this was like a walking and talking kind of situation. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, you travel for a good few hours, um, and right before you... You can kind of already see the edge of the jungle. Instead of heading straight towards it, Siren kind of takes a left turn and kind of guides you along the edge of the jungle for a bit uh, and guides you to a pond of water where you can see a small amount of pink algae has... Oh, is it the same grow. one? We had one marked on our map. Uh, no, this should not be the same one. The same one, the okay. one that you found before was like... That one was more, further south by south. Way further south. It was like, like directly above Aldilon, that part of the jungle. Yeah, right. That yeah, was the yeah, last yeah. time I was here. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a, this is a different one. Uh, and, uh, from... As you get there, there's... There's not much, but there's about two vials worth of, of pink algae. Right. And has regrown. It's not much. But I'm going to hard. pull out the cheesecloth I had, or I bought while well, I wasn't here. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm gonna that. say, uh, Brooks, could you hold the other end of this at the other end of the pond? I suppose. I'm gonna nudge Cass, and I'm gonna Brooks have us like sweep it. Does his jacks. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just gonna nudge. I'm just gonna nudge Cass as, as Brooks is just sort of being a man of servant. <laughs> and we're gonna like, like take it across the water to gather the algae, kind of like he would have like a net. Yeah. And then just wrap it up. Put it in my bag. Okay. Absolutely right. half-assing this, but... I mean, yeah, it might, doesn't matter. It, it, it works. It wakes. And after that, um, she guides you to the edge of the jungle. And you can already see in the distance, New Darmouth. This is now... You're, you're about halfway through the day. And as you travel to New Darmouth, you'll get there right around... Uh, uh, Right around dinner time, the sun is starting to set. Um, what do you do as you enter New Darmouth? Uh, actually, Molly. before you enter New Darmouth, okay. you, if you when you get to the gates, yeah. you'll have a couple of guards standing there with their and big we are carrying and three heads and kind of state your business. Um, we're just passing through. We left our our horses and cart in the stables here. What's your names? Um, 
Well, you can call me Cass. Mm. Um, these are my friends. Cass and friends. Yeah. Right. Will you be uh, spending the night here, or are you going to be moving on immediately? Um, we'll stay here for tonight and then move on in in the morning. Right. Are you visibly carrying these heads? We don't have a bag to put them in, do we? Imagine Jax would offer the bag if you guys wanted to put the heads in there. Absolutely. Okay, we appreciate that. Because that, <laughs> yeah, that... All right, yeah. in that case, welcome to New Daramuth. Enjoy your stay. You don't cause any trouble. I'd hate to have to arrest you. Of course not. I didn't dream of it. I mentioned uh, to Kess again signing, if you see a bookstore or something, somewhere that sells pen and paper, or quill and paper, point it out. And I'm keeping my eye out for that as well. Um, I'm gonna sign back. I I have paper and in ink if you if you need it. I'll just sign back. I might need a bit. It's fine. I'm fine to get some for myself. But thank you. Cool. I'm gonna stay. Keep an eye out for like a a place that will sell paper. That's... Or books. Or You're books. Okay. Uh, at this point That's in time, it is evening time, and uh, most yeah. shops that you see will have closed already, unfortunately. But I can note for tomorrow morning, where it will be there before we leave. Um, on your way in, you pass by a bit of a, a shopping district with a, lot, with a variety of shops, and you do see a okay. shop there that you reckon will probably sell those, uh, okay. those items. Cool. Uh, you make your way to the passersby inn again, the same inn you spent your, the nights yeah. at, um, your previous yeah. nights in the city. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Uh, as you enter the tavern, quickly fucking pull up the, uh, <laughs> the fucking NPC sheet for this city so I know who the fuck you're dealing with. <laughs> There's no who the George, fuck you're dealing with. Uh, right. Robert, there we go. Um, oh, Robert. <laughs> get you get greeted it. by uh, the same uh, older looking human uh, male, uh, the same person that has uh, dealt with you before and kind of recognize you. Back so soon, eh? Good evening. Good evening. We're, right. um, we're heading back. So we just need um, a place for the night. Uh, sounds good, of course, of course. Um, I see uh, you picked up a compatriot on your way. Um, mm. Would that mean you require an extra room? or uh, Well, we have... Um, right now it's a bit busy, but we have one room where we could probably just put a lot of you and big enough enough beds and it'll probably be a bit cheaper than having to rent, you know, three or four rooms. To fit I don't suppose you have a, a, a dove cart or something, and I'll just step to one side where Onu is stood behind me. Um, no, but um, I mean I'm okay I'll with you keeping him in the room the if he floor? doesn't shit on the floor. Yeah. All right. And if perfect. he does, I'm not cleaning it. Mm. Of course not. I mean, dead serious about that. Someone's gonna fucking clean it. It's not me. It'll be him. Point at Brooks. I don't even know if he does <laughs> shit, to be honest. Why the fuck would I clean up after his bird? Well, because well, Jack, Jack, you figured that out among yourselves. Um, here's the key to that room. Uh, for the lot of you, say one, one gold, big room. For one, yes. one gold will cover the cost. Um, I'll come with breakfast. Includes breakfast, yeah. Use of the bath as well. I'll, I'll have to pay for. Of course, of course. Yeah. But you fucking forgot okay. what I charged you last time. But uh, if you wouldn't, wouldn't mind reminding me. I'm fucking around. Uh, well, last time we got three rooms, right? Yeah, yeah it's about the bathing, just, the bathing services. Yeah, I mean, I just paid it all because I paid for all of it, so I just wrote down a total amount. I don't remember what it was. Well, I say total amount, I mean, I just minus off a bunch of shit. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> it was like. Uh, it was, uh, like gold. Uh, all change all based you on demand. Are you using the, the, the bathing. Uh, uh, I will not be uh, using them. <laughs> We've been in the fucking jungle for a week. I smell like a fresh, a fresh spring breeze. Oh, that's pretty nice. It smells like daisies almost. It's clean. All right. Um. Anyone else uh, who is wants to use the, use the bathing rooms? I would. I would definitely like a bath. Oh, right, everybody. So also everyone kind of just like up. hesitantly. I've never bathed. Ah, 
You're going to um, love it. It's, it's like well, washing I've, I've it. Obviously, I've, I've cleaned myself and... But not... No, but this is a totally it, different... It's like experience. in a river, but warm and not full of... <laughs> Starting early with the new shite. experiences. I, I, I would like to try. Welcome to my life. DM. Yes? Mm -hmm. Has Siren been getting a lot of, like... Weird look since we came in uh, tavern. No, because New Daramuth is a city uh, that has working relationships with the people of Sethka. So Siren is uh, familiar enough in this city. It's when you get further south where I just wanted to make sure that there wasn't like Fishnum. someone looking to, you know, stab her in the back or something. Nah, uh, not here at least. Not stab. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, um, or uh, sell you what? Six of you, say one gold, and you can you can use the bathing amenities as long as you like. I'll pass. Oh, there we go. Is there going to be? Well, is there anything happening? I know it's already quite late, but is there anything going on in town this evening? Uh, we have uh, a small troop of bards playing some live music here tonight. Uh, Ooh. Not really, Ooh, like no, nothing along the lines of like a party or anything, but more like just some some background uh, music. Uh, what group is it? Uh, they don't really have a name. There's a college, there's a bard's college in in the city, and they uh, oh, sometimes. It's a student band. Yeah, it's a student band. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! no. Is, that, is that bad? Why are you making that sound? It's not too bad. They're pretty quite alright. It's just like they have to perform. Uh, and to pass their year or something, they have to perform at least a, a, a certain amount of times at different establishments. And no. hey, I mean, it's cheap. It's it's free entertainment, and if it's shit, still it's entertaining as fuck for the patrons. So I'll, I'll keep a box of tomatoes in my bar just in case. Mm. <laughs> All right, good to know. Mm. Uh, how no. much was the the whole thing? Two my gold. paid gold. Oh, oh, I fuck I, you, I paid gold asshole. Gold. <laughs> one gold for the room, one gold for all of you to use the bathing. The worst kind of person. Uh, what, stuff. Well, you pay for everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm well strange. You pay for everything. Gosh. Um. All right. So. Um, I. Bye. Would you like for me to uh, make you some food while you're in the bath so that you can have some dinner? Perhaps. Yes, so that, please. That would be quite splendid. What well, we uh we just got um you know some of the the town hunters just brought home quite. The selection of, of, of fresh meats. Um, how does how does roast pig sound? <gases> yes. Oh, like a like suckling pig, like mm. the whole thing on it. Apple, oh. apple in the mouth and everything. Yeah. Oh, oh luau. That sounds, yeah, sounds perfect. Lovely. Live music, suckling pig. Mm. Limbo. Oh, oh, okay, come on. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm down for a bath. Kill for a good bath. Mm. Right, I'll make sure yeah, that uh, food will be ready in about 45 minutes so you have plenty of time to, to bathe and clean and relax down there. Which one? Unless you wanted to, yeah. to, be, to be a little longer, but uh, it's up to you. Yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. All right. Enjoy it. Enjoy your safe place to... in. Tell your friends and all that. Absolutely. Food, won't they? Oh, yeah. Wait till we get out of here, shall I turn around? So guys, there's this inn called the Passerby Inn. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Right, so you all, uh, except for Jax, I guess, make your way down to the bathing rooms. Siren kind of yeah. hesitates. Are they separate rooms or is it like the big room? Sorry? Are they like separate rooms or like a big room? Uh, there's both. There's separate rooms. There's uh, a more communal bath as well. Uh, Siren kind of hesitantly... Uh, like walks up to one of those like 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 s separated rooms, and it's kind of so I just lay in there for a bit. Cass is already getting in the communal one. As long as you want, just same. I go into a private you one. You don't have to stay in there the entire time, like if you don't like it. But well, I don't know. I just I just feel like I want to learn about just, just treat it like a like a warm and lake. Customs and it seems like bathing is a big part of it. So I just, I just like to. You should experience. go in the big one. I mean, if if you're if, if the ladies don't that. mind. Absolutely, come in. Okay. Why would we mind? Uh, I don't know. I'm just privacy, maybe I don't know. I guess we're all going. Oh, I'm, I'm in the baths. I, I mean, I'm a hundred percent in a private bath. <laughs> Lazarin's being a pussy, that's fine. Are the private baths are like completely separate rooms? Yeah. Oh okay. no, I just find my private I probably wouldn't want to... Ah, actually, you know what? Fuck it, dude. I'm bringing Ono in the communal bath. Yeah! <laughs> okay. I'm the only one... 
I'm the Kess, only like, splashes one water at Onu. <laughs> you're the only one. You're the only one. Who's Omi's got a wingspan. <laughs> oh no, I I will spend like half an hour, like most of it in the private one, and then when I hear like when I'm like bathe myself, I'll join them in the fucking communal one. Okay. I feel that like I mean, I feel that FOMO. I'm just like, like it's the like. Well, look who finally decided to join us. Onu kind of like gets in the water sure. and and just kind of. Like bends his, his like little bird knees and just kind of like floats on, on the surface of the water. <laughs> uh, just kind of let it until Kes splashes him. At which point, I mean, if Kes, like if Kes does, it'll probably you know you'll hear something like. I love that sound. As I realize they as, have a steam generator upstairs, with, like sp spanning his wings, almost slapping one of you in the face with it, just kind of kind of sh shielding whoa, himself from whoa. the splashing water. Uh, I'm gonna minor illusion and make the sound back at him. <laughs> it just like head tilts. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> as They're you're not kind of spending some time with Onu, vocal. you can now you know definitely see these like primordial markings covering its 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 wings and its its beak and also like the green tinge the eyes have. Um, if this is the uh, first time well, you can get I'll... a good close look at Onu. Um, for most of if you. a Lazarin's coming to join us, like who who do you sit nearest, or who are you, like where roughly in the bath are you going? Oh, fuck. I mean, <laughs> uh, is there a I'm seating just... plan? Who's sitting next to Lich, who? Lich, 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 what I've probably do? gotten like in between Diagon and Kes. I'm assuming it's around, right? Like yeah, it's, it's just like, like a circular, it's like circular shape. Yeah. Wherever... And we're all just like hot tubbing like at an edge. Of oh, I've seen it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, whatever so that is. Like, so Kes is just bobbing in the middle. Yeah, Kes is just messing around. I mean, like handstands. Basically, yeah. since a Lazarin cloak is so uncomfortable, if he ever walks past me at any point, I just kind of want to see if I can just like poke him with my tail. Like, not any of my legs, but just like my tail under the water, just as a quick, like, like little whack, <laughs> and just to see if it makes him really uncomfortable and then but act like I didn't do anything. I'll just like look around. Just like, oh. It's not the first time he's been whacked. With a I mean, so the it has not the first time been whacked by a tail in this campaign. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Siren kind of well, like, I'd have two after nickels. the first like 15 it's minutes, lot, Siren it's weird. It's happened twice. Got, got a lot more comfortable and kind of like, I could get used to this. It's quite nice. It's just like a, a communal little hangout, apart from we're all relaxed and so naked. So we each other's dirt. Well, well, well the, the, the water is funny enough. cleansing, so... Well, that is why it's I it's no I different than first. bathing in a lake, I guess. Well, Lazarin, by mm -hmm. that logic, you probably should have done it the other way around. It's a lot more comfortable, you though. Leaned yourself in a bath and then hopped in with all of us. Well, yeah, but at least this gets strained, whereas a lake ride surely is bathing in the, the, the dirt of everyone else that's bathed in the lake ever. Well, lakes typically have, you know, rivers attached to it, kind of constantly bringing and a new biome water as well, of in a way. And baths have so small creatures. And, and creatures that clean the eat. water, yes, 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 eat the dirt yeah. out of the water. Bubbles up to Fucking fungus and algae that mm. will take the dirt and bacteria. I really I don't, don't care about the entire like 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 body and then eat from the inside. And, and like, little fish like that jump up your pee hole. Kess, mm. <laughs> the type of person to like put loads of soap in one corner and be like making a massive bubble bath in just one bubble. corner. Oh, <laughs> just. <laughs> yep. Kess, she, she stopped doing her own bubble bath. She, she's no longer like doing handstands. She's just like making as many bubbles as she possibly can <laughs> in the corner. Nice. Uh, uh, around, just like... Like... With that, the time kind of kind of goes by, and uh, Siren. We all get clean. Yeah. Siren gets out and then kind of like puts 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 her the clothing that she took off back on and kind of. Right. This was. Um... One and hopefully many new experiences. Thank you mm. for allowing me to. I actually share. meant to ask you what the first thing you might want to want to try, but I suppose have you been here before? I've uh, yes, I've uh, I've been in this city before. Um, anything further south is completely new to me. Eldorlon's a much bigger city than this. It might be some some. I would like to um new experiences. Obviously, I want to learn about your religion as in what kind of deities are common to but other than that um anything you do for fun really oh brooks is more the person i think to go for that for entertainment like a cop i've, I've kind of noticed we've we've, we've shared some might have been, on our watches and i think that might have been a compliment at last room 
Is all this bubble bath gone to your head? Oh, you you understand what compliments are? Huh? Well, everyone has to be good at something, I'm right? Not an idiot. <laughs> I understand social graces and such. <laughs> I'm just I don't. Works. Probably better than oh. the rest of us, to be honest. Yeah, true. I right, spent um... a little bit too much time alone in the woods. I'll be upstairs. Uh, just, I'll be lonely more. Uh, making sure our food doesn't get eaten by uh, other other people. And um, I'll put my body quickly. I don't know. It's weird. I feel a little. Is it weird? It's. I'm anxious, but also excited about the next few days. Oh yes. That's I mean, I mean, there's at least there's nothing would... like a massive ape trying to kill us. So. I was very nervous when I was leaving my home, um, yes, but every time I saw something new, it made me more excited, and now I'm no longer anxious. It's scary, but I'm also I'm, I'm very appreciative of you guys taking me along and allowing an offering to, you know, show me the temple district and. Uh, oh yeah, he'll know more, more about, about that than anyone else. But uh, as far as other things, I would like to experience just things that you do for fun, you know, <laughs> and perhaps. Oh, I mean, well, the music doesn't seem very good If I'm going to be a, to a, city, a city girl, I suppose, uh, money is something I would need, so... Any, any, any job, Alatrin jobs. is also the one to ask about that. Well, I'm, not, I'm not asking you for money, I... I'm asking you to help me find ways to earn money in that city. That's what I mean! The second, the second, like, she don't, over it, when oh, she first gosh, says, Alatrin is the person to ask about money, I fucking just go, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, like, it's like a proper, like, and then when it's like to earn money, I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, is this all still in the bath? It's the car. Yeah, it's Sorry? all in the bath. Okay. Yeah. yeah, this yeah. is as well like getting dressed and shit. Like, yeah. So like, oh, when we're getting changed, I'm, I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite, you know, quite this, this capable ranger, and I'm, I'm sure you know people need food and whatnot and game or I don't know, kill beasts oh, yeah, that are a threat or, or something. So something something like you, mercenary-like, but it's more closer to the city, perhaps. Yeah, people are always looking for trade of some description. For anything, there's really. There's Goggle Hunters, there's Rangers Lodges. Mm. There's plenty of... Other than that, I could always teach you how to bartend. Mm, no. <laughs> I tried. I could teach you how to beat the shit out you of people are, for money. You are palpable. I can handle you. <laughs> but the idea of having to handle drunken strangers all night without having... Without being able to, you know. What? Why was I a comparison to drunken strangers? Because you're drunk. And you're well, a no, I'm just, I'm just, no, I'm stone saying, cold sober. I'm saying I'm not much of a people person per se. Like you, I find palpable, but having to like, deal uh, with like strangers all a, night as a group, or I just raise an eyebrow as a group, with, yes. at the people person looking at Siren. I just don't particularly get on with people, especially because of my heritage, and I hmm. choose to kind of seclude myself for the most part. Uh, fate has oh, I can definitely uh, appreciate that fate bartending has pushed us everybody. together, and it's been nice. But this is definitely not the norm for me, mm -hmm. usually. Mm. Diplomacy will be hard. Trust me, you'll be meeting a lot of strange people. Mm. Most should be nice. Some will be assholes. It's kind of the way of the world, but as long as you can be... I suppose I have to learn to not want to rip assholes' throats out. Oh, yeah. best, that, the yeah, best yeah, revenge you can find on someone who's an absolute yeah. arsehole Kill is them to just kindness. be really fucking nice to him. Yeah. Kill them it winds the fuck out of him. Really? Oh, yes. If you're really over the top nice to him when they're being a cunt, they're going to be so Could pissed off about it, an and example. it's fucking give funny. Give me an example. Say, okay. So, okay, okay, so say... Someone makes some offhand racist remark to me being Yuan T. What do I what should I respond with? Oh people in this city are lovely. I'm glad to have met everyone. Your present company excluded. <clears throat> I like that. Well that's not being nice I, though. That... I just I just looked no, confused it's, in the cast, but was that not still technically an insult? I don't think I it's get it's it. about having that really nice demeanor. Passive aggression. Yeah, you, you can make you can make kind of mean comments, you just Sorry. then have to keep talking so that they don't have a chance to kind of process oh, yes. it. And if, then later on they'll think about like it and be like, oh, kiss, then, right? Yeah. There's no kind of, that's just the way Literally she has up. been so far. Oh, okay. How dare you? I, I dare. am very nice. That's... I like you, for what it's worth. Thank you. See? Well, that makes one of us. You don't like her, why is she still with you? 
Exactly. Lesson number two in social skills. Hmm? A lot of people time. will be sort of mean to people that they enjoy the company of rather than just being nice. That seems very counterproductive. I know, it's a side yeah, it's, 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 it's about picking up intent. Like, I could say something mildly mean to you, but in a mm -hmm. way that you understand that it's a joke between friends, or I could just be an asshole, in which case it's very clear that I'm being an asshole. Right. Like, when, when Elazarin came and joined us in Bath, and I was like, oh, so you finally joined us, I'm sort of giving him a little stick about the fact that he went, but it's not, like, he's not over there crying at the moment, so. And there was oh, an undertone of not anymore, intent, anyway. erotic <laughs> tension that Brooks had missed him dearly, and he was glad that he finally decided right. to join us in the bar. Anyway, um, should we go upstairs? I feel like, um, oh, yes. Oh, it should be ready, and Definitely. I don't know. Make sure Jax is all right, I suppose. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. But yes, I am rather hungry. Right. You all there you go. From the bathing area, back Change. upstairs. Smelling you can of see, roses. Uh, Jax, anything you've done? Like, already your... eating. Yeah, um, like, you will see that like your food has arrived at the table, and Jax has already helped himself to a good serving yeah. of suckling pig. You, and... you didn't even wait for us. Well, I didn't want the food to get cold while you guys were all enjoying your bath. And I want to say grace. Someone had so, to enjoy so. it. Elijah, say what? What? Say your own fucking grace. <laughs> What's saying I, grace? I, 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 I just start eating, what, what grace? seeing as someone else did, so I'm just going to start taking chunks at a time and, and eat them of the pig. What is this oh, saying yeah, grace so. that you talk about? Don't worry about it. It's, uh, it's a tradition it's, uh, of a religious circle. So we have to, we have to oh. sit at a table before we eat and go, grace, and then you can eat. Oh. No, you, you, you say a prayer for the food. It's not something that Joaquin does. It's something that other people do. Why I find I... it insane. But, oh, you, know. you do? Oh, yeah. It's, yes, but, you know, it, bless. Like, it's thanking of cargo. Yeah, I was just going to say, uh, thanking a god for food seems a lot more tangible than being like, oh, Joaquin, yeah, cheers for the good trade. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's a bit of a redundancy no. with followers of Joaquin no. because it's already been blessed in this transit. Is, I mean, this is cooked food, <laughs> which we trust the resource of. I mean, it's fine. It's probably been pre-blessed yes, us through other gods. The, the Whereas the trade... Gonna there, they're going to get there. They're going to get attacked if they get attacked. There's no other being behind it. It's whether someone wants to fucking attack it. There are pirates. Well, well, not, not to Jax, take it's a bit side here. That's the last thing I'd ever want to do. But uh, surely when a trade happens between two people... That's the individuals involved in the trade. It really has nothing to do with Joaquin. How it might go. What if one of them doesn't even worship Joaquin? Well, as much as I enjoy as taking much as the any... piss out of a Lazarin, maybe it's a bit too late in the evening for this. No, well, we're not uh, taking the piss out of him. He's just wrong. No. <laughs> as much as it's... So, and this is an example of being As much an as it pains you, to. Jax, the mysteries of the universe oh. aren't all known. However, I agree to your... Understanding and respect your ideals, not all of them follow them. Mind your own business when it comes to these things. If you don't follow it, I don't persecute you for not following a god. Don't persecute me. I'm not for persecuting one. you. I'm trying to show you a better way. Oh, I'm well aware. Oh god, he really is a fucking Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> 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 Holy fuck! Trust, <laughs> Trust me, it's it's fine. You are. Uh... Silvanus, <laughs> thank you for the life of this suckling pig that you have delivered unto us. Or something. Congratulations. Who? You've. Sylvanas. <laughs> God of that. Who? I'm still God eating the pig and... the whole time you're having this. Yeah, I'm just eating. Yeah, God same. Of, uh... As you kind of just have your dinner, this, thing, like, this like student band of, of bards and troubadours shows up. Two humans, both playing, uh, one playing a lyre and one playing the drum, uh, both male, and then one. High elf woman singing. Uh, I'm just going to say, how good are they? Because we might need to find those out. tomatoes. Performance checks incoming. Performance checks are incoming. Other issues is incoming? it fucking awful? awful? Pretty solid. Yeah. Okay. Pretty fucking solid. Is she, is she singing what, in um, common or elvish? Common. Okay. Just checking. Once, give, uh, us, uh, give us one in Sylvan. <laughs> make, a, make, a, make a persuasion check. Oh no. I love foreign music. Uh, I love the way this cake is cut. Uh, persuasion? Plan, plan, <laughs> plan, plan. Plan. Five. Five? She kind of like in between songs looks at you. 
perhaps if you uh, are willing to make a donation. Oh, of course. I'll take requests. I'll, uh, I'll take copper. two silver. Ooh, big spender. And I'll just... Well, do they have like a... Is there like a guitar case <laughs> with uh, coins? No, in, like... she'll, she'll just like take it from you and... Like, oh, just, I'll do that thing where you like have two coins and you go like... Whoosh, and they like... Mm -hmm. Separate. Fan you know? out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so hand out to All right, then she'll proceed to sing a song in Sylvan. Do any of you speak Sylvan? I speak no. Sylvan. Okay, there you go. Uh, this song is is about the Feywild and uh, how it's home to um, a variety of, of Fey magic that elves still use to this day. And it's just a bit of a ballad. Those are the lyrics, my baby. Have I, have no, I no, heard this It's just a bit before? of a ballad regarding... No, 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 just imagine, like, no. <laughs> the Feywild is home to a number of magical spirits. test. A ballad about how the Feywild is still to this day very important in elven heritage and elven beliefs. And... Still to this day very I, important I in elven heritage. But this <laughs> sounds way yeah, better but, in Sylvan. But, yeah, but, but it's in Sylvan, because, like, yeah, no it's one really beautiful. speaks it when they say it. It's got this flow to it. But sure. you know, like, we this know is it's where like, you cut back to the beginning of the episode where Dutch was thanking the players for being here every mm. week and mm. <laughs> thanking us yeah. for yeah, letting yeah, him yeah, do yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Have I heard this ballad before? Uh, make a history check. Okay. Mm, yeah. Ooh, history. It might not be nice. a ballad. 18. Technically. 18? Yeah. You have. Oh, cool. It was actually quite popular among uh, your... Uh, I'm like singing along. Your people. Do I know it? Probably not. I mean, like a it, maybe. Yes, Make a history check. Singing? Am I good at singing? Yeah. <laughs> is like oh. can I sing along? Oh. Is it good or is it fucking Sorry, awful? Sorry, what was that, Saduk? Uh, Twelve. Uh, like the chorus you've you've heard before. Oh yeah, not, dude. Not Hell yeah. Not not enough to really like confident confidently sing along or whatever. Uh, okay, I, I don't know Sylvan, but I know the words to this. Just singing along. Okay. <laughs> When there was, I like know, the... I know nothing of Fey or the Feywild, but I was taught oh. Sylvan. Yeah. When there's like I was an a upbeat boy song, up. like a nice, uh, a nice one for dancing, I'll kind of look. I'll look at Brooks and and Siren and be like, and be like oh, Brooks, you have had other things. I should show Siren about dancing. I, I oh, don't. Know. Having have a good ever... time. I've never. Weren't you the one with a family that was fairly? Shouldn't you be eloquent enough for dancing? Oh, that's what I'm saying. I show Shin how to dance. Oh, oh, you want to dance? I thought you meant with Siren. You want to dance with me? Okay. Siren, who's going to lead though? Or are you going to dance? All the patchman cheers to see who leads. <laughs> if you before, if you know how to. Be, be, before you go, Brooks, um, yeah. I'd like to try a drink. What do you recommend? Oh, what sort of things do you like to drink? They drink May venom. for new experiences. <laughs> and rabbit blood. Yeah. I did quite something like that. Something spicy uh, was it whiskey and that, you, that you presented? But I, oh, I, the, I wanted uh, to try something else. Firebeard? Maybe? You want something... Yeah, firebeard. You want I'm, something I'm for new strong, experiences, or? so anything that I haven't tried yet. Just something that's an experience. Oh, no. Sure. Oh, I, can, no. I, can, I can order you something that's an experience. Sure. Okay. Um. Uh, oh, isn't there a drink with like a toe in it or something? That, that, that I that was a, a niche tasty. somewhere. Although, oh no, you don't eat the toe. It's. Like, I was just going to say, Siren might eat the toe, and that. You're not supposed to eat the toe. Well, that no, might make no. the drink better. Oh. Do you was want it, something was it a that, toe that might remind you a little of home, or do you want something that's just wildly out there? Wildly out there. Yeah. You, okay. New experiences. Nothing. Uh, nothing about home. I will order Siren a lover's quarrel. Which is, uh, it's like a red wine glass, mm -hmm. but the bottom third is uh, whiskey, sugar syrup, uh, sugar syrup, and lime, and then the top half is the top two thirds is red wine. Oh, that was me. That was miserable. That's really good, actually. <laughs> I hate the sound of that. I don't she, know why. She looks at it and kind of like, how does it stay separate like that? But at that point, uh, there's like, some... Brooks are probably already gone, gone dancing while, while, while the, the, waiting for the drink. This is like as I'm putting it down. I'm like, there, there's some science to it, but basically, some liquids float on others, and all about the density, really. There you go. Jackson can explain it, right? Uh, yeah. Elijah. So do I just do I just? Yes. Is there a certain way of drinking it? 
Uh, yeah. sipping it's ideal. If you chug it, then you're probably gonna get all of the, all of the wine first, and then it's just gonna be not so great at the bottom. So you want to sip it so it sort of mixes. Like you're eating a cake from the top down. Some people well, have to stir it. Frosting. You've never cake. had cake. Oh. It's alright. I was talking about cakes, delicious. I can't right. envisage. A... She, you'll see her like grab like a piece of parchment, and has, she's already written on on there some things that she would like to experience, and she just adds cake to that list. Cake. Cake. And, like, rolls it back up, puts it in her pack. But it's spelled like K A Y K or something. <laughs> no, it's spelled correctly. All right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> right, Alasrin. Are we? That sounds. Who's leading? Are we bottle parchment shit or what? It, what? What? Is there a nice waltz going? <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, no. It, okay. it has to be Golden Years Bowie. by David Bowie, so yeah. we can perfectly recreate that one scene from A Knight's Tale no, where they all no. dance. That uh, <laughs> no, I can't remember you. his name. No Wait, shot. Stop. No. No. <laughs> no. But uh, it's so good. That's assuming we all know nope, this we're dance. Gonna, we're gonna do some boot scooting yeah. boogie line dancing. Bro. Boot okay. No. <laughs> that's a weird. Uh, I think it's fine. It's me and Alastair dancing. So that's whoever really, leads. That, that's a really weird way. That's a really weird way to say. I mean, I say I'll say too much experience dating. Do you know how to waltz? Do I? Do I look like a man that doesn't know how to waltz? I have no idea. Let's yeah, find yeah. out, and I'll and I'll I'll take his hand. I'll put <laughs> it. In hand. So so am I leading or are you lead? Oh, I'm. I would like to just attempt to lead. Okay. <laughs> if you, if you we'll see how um, for the sake of this, Elijah, I would like for you to make a performance check. Oh, here we go. Can I uh, see how good he is at myself? Shh. <laughs> I think you can, right? I think you can guide yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can guide yourself. Yeah, that's what he was doing before he joined us in the bath. 14. <laughs> 14. Uh, 14. It's been a while since you've since you've walked. It's definitely been a while. Uh, but it's been uh, a while. after the first few uh, moments, it kind of comes back to you, and it's you know it's decent. It's decent. What are you still walking with someone some shorter than me when I'm leading? <laughs> as they're getting get sort of Fair. getting into the movements, I'll hop about in my seat, and I shall hold a hand out to Kess, and <laughs> with a with a grin. She will absolutely accept. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. Uh, and we shall are you, waltz? Are I mean, you, it's, it, are you, it, leading, you uh... can only waltz to a waltz, really. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. really. Mm -hmm. I wait for a waltz. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make a performance mm -hmm. check. I'll lead. Uh, Davian, if you're leading. Oh, it's not bad. Oh. 13. Yeah, it's decent. Good yes, I waltz there. Good enough. <laughs> Step on toes I'll, occasionally. Uh, I'll have a go at leading the last one for the next song. <laughs> you have the next song? All right. When they get up and dance, I just give Jax like a, a look with my eyes. That's kind of like an empathetic, sympathetic, like a, again, we're the ones left out of things kind of thing. At the last time they were at the tavern, they were all swapping like buddy, buddy backstories. And we were just kind of sat there. Oh, that's true. So I just, I, last, I just give Jax a didn't sad Jax little go to look bed? like we're left out again. I don't think Jax went to bed. No, no we were just No, he was just I was kind of looks at either of you. Um, would either of you mind? Trying dance? Oh, or? I'm very clumsy these days. I can't dance. I, um, my translator is gone, so I, I you just say. Hey, well, right? well, no, but I, 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 I look at uh, Siren and I point to myself, and I point towards my head, and I hold up the number one, trying to imply I only know one dance, and then I point to them and I nod no. Uh. Once like a second song has been done, I will go to Siren. Like I'll, I will thank Brooks. I'll do like a little bow to Brooks after like we're done. Like thank you. Oh, I, I, I fucking I led the best waltz you've ever seen. I got a oh, I don't know. nineteen, so twenty one. Nice. Very good, very good. Wow, a bit different. And I'll, I'll living up to the the suit and the waistcoat or whatever. Uh, yeah. Well <laughs> oh, then Siren, it's... be rude to me not to offer our guest if you'd like. Do you, do you want to like partake to try in that thing? Mm, she grabs. She grabs your hand. To, a, to whatever other dance is now being. Oh, before. oh, uh, uh, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. When oh they <laughs> are at Bilbo's party. No more movie and... references. Actual fucking dances. But please. these are fantasy themed <laughs> dance scenes. Okay, and then good <laughs> fun dances. Do you know what else is fancy themed? Fucking ballroom dance. 
<laughs> or salsa <laughs> dancing. Oh, 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 we'll do a foxtrot. No, fuck that, dude. Wait, I want to yeah. be like Samwise Gamgee oh, and oh, Rosie or whatever her name is, just fucking <laughs> jumping around me. <laughs> fucking skatty bass line. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Siren will just grab your hand and will, like, stare you in the eyes and just says, I have no idea what I'm doing, so please. And I'll kind of, like, talk her through each sort of step as we go and kind of, like, it's put her hands very together. A, um, a, a dance. Do you want me to roll another fucking performance check? Yeah. Is Dagen very clearly pulling a face? Oh god. No, I it was just a quick the, um, look. It Jack's was like, just a like... quick look to Jax as it like checking, but then like when I look back, I look back out again, it's back to just neutral the, as, the resting as, uh, bitch face Brooks that comes I have. Back, Jax will uh, say uh Eleven? Um Brooks, how about you teach Tiger now? Dude, to dance. She doesn't know because this is the first time she dances or really like this. So dance she has no idea. She I don't know if she knows how to previous experience to base any judgment on. So she's like, Oh, this is probably how it works and she like follows your lead. Question. And... Is she oh, the type of you on T does she have legs? Yeah, or does she, she have she's, like a tail? She's a pure blood. So she has minor snake. So it's more like features. a snake like kind of face she has and that like, scaly skin. Oh, she has that forked tongue and she has like the reptilian okay. eyes, but besides the occasional okay, okay. patch of scales like randomly spread around her body, she's very okay. much humanoid. Okay, okay. Human, very, human like, legs, elfish. human arms. I will, I'm like, sure you described it before, but I wasn't here the session where they met her. So yeah. Like, at any yeah. point that, like, if I like, still not to, like feel that, like, apologize and kind of tell her that, like, as you do more dancing, you get better at it, and you'll see mm -hmm. that it'd be more fun the more you do it. Um, um bow to her when I finish, and she kind of like up. feel free to feel free, feel free to dance yourself with. You can pick another another partner, or she kind of looks at, uh, at the table and. Uh, I'm currently more. sat there and Jack's uh, asking. Arkes and, and Davian still just vibing? Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, I, I also I also can dance again. I she'll, keep requesting, uh, like, jaunty, up. upbeat songs, though. I just want to put that out there. I'll spend, okay. I'll spend well, as, five as this, silver like, over the course of the with, night. With, between uh, Siren and, and uh, Elazarin and some more upbeat Samwise and Rosie type beats comes That's up. That's such a great scene, guys. Like, come on. And uh, Siren will approach Daigon and. Would you like to try? Furious, nodding no, and looking terrified in that minute. Jax? Come on, Jax. Um, I haven't danced since. Uh... I just danced for the very first time in my life. Oh, I know. It's just. um, That was uh, me and my wife's thing. Oh. oh. I am. Um... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. <clears throat> it's okay. Um, Are you, you sure, when, Dagon, when you don't Jack want to dance? Says, when Jack says that, it makes me sad, and I want to try and check. So I go up, and I start doing the one dance that I know, which is a solo dance. <laughs> and it looks like, have you ever seen the Khajiit dance in Elder Scrolls Online? <laughs> that is what I do. Oh, fucking God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, right. it's like belly dancing-esque, but also with weird arms and just like... Do so that's what I do, and uh, okay. specifically, like, not very far in the dance, but just kind of right in front of Jax. To also be like, you can dance by yourself, you don't need to dance with someone else. It's kind of like vibe. And, and also, just because I know it probably looks really weird because no one here is dancing at all like that. So, okay. that um, in that case, she'll kind of like back away from Jax because she feels very bad now and <laughs> is going I to just um... kill the whole mood. Brooks? <laughs> I mean, I, I was gonna ask Dagon, but she seems very against the idea so uh sure and she'll like chug the rest of her drink and just put the glass down and am i really that intimidating no it just means you can already be another one he's learning and uh she grabs your hands and she takes the lead here and just She's kind of, just kind of okay. looks at what kes and davian are doing to this like upbeat stuff and tries to mimic it the best she can i'll i'll I don't think I've been sort of try and guide, people. but I won't take over. Mm -hmm. Fucking fantasy 2021. She can lead. Uh, 11. <laughs> it's not great, but it's also not... Can I, poor, can I uh, attempt you know? to give her advantage? Can I assist? Sure. If Yeah, sure. Fuck it. If you kind of like, whenever you do notice a misstep, kind of, without immediately taking charge, kind of correct her. Sure. Hilariously. Do you miss steps? I just pick her up slightly. <laughs> her, her, her original, like, roll is like, it's like fucking, oh, like, okay. eye roll. Okay, well, that advantage made it a 21, so... Ooh, 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 ooh. 
<laughs> See, look at that. You're doing fucking great. You're doing grand. And uh, she kind of laughs and after a couple of dances goes to sit down and uh, sis. Uh, assuming you all kind of stop yeah. dancing yeah, and sat yeah. down. Yeah, I do like table. five or six repetitions of my little solo <laughs> thing and then I sit back down. Did it look like it? Jax laughed at all or like thought it was, it was funny looking or did it look like it distracted him at all? And he wasn't just like looking sad. He's, he's still enjoying it. He's not like sad. Okay. Okay. When I when I she'll go it, to like... sit down and kind of look at you all and I um just want to thank you for bringing me along and teaching me new things and I hope that once we reach Albilon it doesn't have to end. I wouldn't mind having a couple of friends. Of course. Oh, well, not. there's. Play more of this in Eldalon. Uh, of course. Say this is just the beginning. At the very least, you seem to have an act for dancing, so. Yeah, it wasn't and too I... bad, right? <laughs> it did. Very good. Pretty good for a first time. Um, I mean, I'll teach know. you guys some of the dances from my people. Oh, I would like yeah, to. That'd be wonderful. Yeah, you can lead next time, Kess. <laughs> of course. Um, I have a question. Mm. For anyone that wants to answer, really. What did you do before, you know, venturing into the jungle? Like, Well, you've probably heard what I've been doing, quite obviously, yes. as the mocking came from previously. Uh, I'm a priest. I help. I help those who are merchants. I travel with them, bless their goods, help protect them. I'm uh, general clerical work, so blessing people, answering questions, you know. Help out wherever I can, especially with those of in need of Joaquin. Um, how far me. back are we talking? Just um, what did you do before you ended up becoming mercenaries? How long on this continent, I suppose, Jax? I think. It might well, be I've been on this continent for about eight years now. Um, I was a blacksmith while I was here. That makes sense. Did, Jackson, you mentioned that you live with you on sea people or, or alongside um, we lived them? lived nearby a tribe. Uh, we didn't like oh. live with them per se. Where did you live? Not the same as Syrian's tribe. Uh, looks at backstory. <laughs> Ooh, I've got no my character. I my notes. Dude, that's not something I know off the top of my head, all right? How dare you? I'm not. It's, <laughs> it's either Port Danilo or Port Alion, either or. Yeah, it was one of those I think it was Port de Leon. I think that's what it was. That was just not one of the options at all, but okay. Yeah, that's what most <laughs> <laughs> I think you just said Port de Leon, didn't you? No, I no. said Danilo or Port Alion. You combine Danilo, both. okay. Oh. <laughs> Jason Danilo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember, I remember it being Port de I think. I, I think it was Port de Nilo as well. That's what okay. we settled on. She's like... Yeah. Oh, I, um... Interesting. I uh I, I know of the, the bigger tribes you want to. I didn't know you've had tribes living in that side of the jungle, but that's good. As long as uh you know they're, they're friendly and whatnot. When did you get Jax? Brooks. Brooks, Brooks even. <laughs> uh, saying to Jax, where did you get Brooks? when did I get him? Yeah. What do you mean? Get well, I mean he's been assisting well, me since about a week before we met. Well, he, he's, well, he's well, your well, assistant, right? No. No, no he's my assistant. Not. Oh, I'm no. not even your assistant. Did I offend well, you? Well, you do help me on certain projects, so... Yeah, because you pay for the fucking assistant. drinks when we go out. Yeah, so you're my assistant. We're... sort of friends. Why don't I just I just assumed, because he's... Well, I thought we were friends, he but now we just... Called me his assistant, so you can you can be his friend and his assistant. assistant. <laughs> Are they mutually oh, exclusive? Oh, I didn't know a little bit hurt over it. <laughs> what I'm about sorry. well? I, did, of... I didn't mean to offend anyone or, or cause any issues. I just assumed. Owning people. Well, like I keep uh, him in a Siri, cage. Siri looks at you and I'm inside checking you. <laughs> Me? Could you, yes. When you say okay. you didn't mean to offend. Or didn't mean to offend. <laughs> Could you make a persuasion or deception check for me, please? Okay. I also inside that. <laughs> you want to inside that too? Yeah. Same check. Okay. 
She's um, she's an instigator. Twenty one. Okay, she believes you. <laughs> yeah, she I just picked you. up on your your mischievous uh, nature and doesn't quite instantly believe when you say that. <laughs> I mean, owning people's uh, early frowned upon in most, if not. Yes, Old a lot places. harder these days. It was a lot easier a hundred years whoa, ago. Whoa, whoa, okay. That's well, a bit... Well, I mean, piracy he... has gotten harder. He said he's not one of me, but he's blue, so I figured he might be some kind of elven type, and in the Feywild, it's very common for elven people to have human pets. Is it common for elven people Do to be I blue? Do I look like an elf? Are we in the uh, Feywild? You could, you could be fake. Do my ears look pointy? Your hat is. To be fair, your ears are typically covered by your hat, so yeah. you don't really see. It, it's kind of hard to tell. Have you ever met a blue elf? Is it rude to ask someone... Well, yes, what actually. Are you? Is that rude? <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's rude. A, a little, I is guess. But... Okay, what is everyone? <laughs> you auntie? Lazarus a fucking... Well, I am a Vidalkin. A Vidalkin? Have I heard of that before? A Vidalkin? <laughs> What even? Mm. I don't even know what it's really. Mm. What's your, like, are you proficient with intelligence? Like, modifying, intelligence. Like, saving throws and checks and whatnot? No. Like, is, no? No. Probably not. For Dalkan are okay. very rare and very uncommon in any realm besides their own. I really. <laughs> yeah. have <laughs> never heard of that. Where, where are you from? Um, well, my family is from Port Segalia, but we were the only Dalkan there. Huh. Again, Good. There probably aren't any Vidalkin left, but, you know. Oh, that's so sad. You think you're the last? Well, no, I just meant in Port Segalia. Oh, okay. My parents are probably dead by now. I have no idea. Port, Port Segal. Segalia is the problem. Segalia is the whole dude. country. You're, yeah. good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Segal, Segalia is the, the, the province. Port, port Segal is the port. Where is this Port Segal? Uh, very far in... south. Uh, by boat, it's like a week trip, right? Something like that. If, not, if not more, yeah. Uh, Across it's about the mail on a bad time. That disappeared. Not. Oh, it's a few decades ago. It's off. It's not on this continent. No, it's from no. where all these settlers, I guess. Are there any of came from my or... kind there? I not that I've ever any. met or heard of. I wouldn't know. Is there you want to, like, about at all anywhere? Like, in Kingdoms or anything? No, you want to are a very, for very foreign concept. Mm -hmm. You are, at least to us, from our understanding, relatively new. Well, that goes suppose... both ways, I guess, then. In that case. I, so... I suppose before all this got settled, you know, like, like, Vidalkan and elves and and humans and tieflings and we've, are all um, very rare. Elves we have encountered, but what kind of elf? Um, the elvish ones. Yes. No. Um, wood elves mainly. Uh, that's a tale from a place they call the Feywild. Um, but other than that, humans, Vidalkan. Uh, I've we, half a high elf, I've I suppose. Seen, I've seen Tabaxi, but they typically don't look like Daigon. Does her uh, mention of elves eyes kind of wild slightly? Like... <laughs> I didn't mean any. I'm just saying that the Tabaxi. I, I, nod an under, I nod an understanding. It's the eyes narrowing is more just an uncontrollable impulse and me being insecure. Does her mention of like wood elves from the Fair Wild ring any bells? Me. I mean, you know that fucking elves from the Feywilds visit the material plane all the fucking time. There's no reason for them not to cool. take, go to this place and that sort of Fair thing. Enough. Not uncommon. Kind of like, just saying a certain people from a country, right? It's like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. It's not like... Um, <clears throat> other than that, um... Guess you push me for me. Kes. Hmm? You keep talking about you know, your people and and whatnot, and you are not Vidalcan like Jax. No, no, I I have never heard of that. Um, I'm, I'm a Ganassi. 
Benassi. Elemental type. Ah. Yeah. A lot of the, um, there's a lot of Ganassi tribes, villages, communities. I, I'm not sure what the correct word is. Um, Ooh, where? Um, all over, really. Ganassi are quite common. A lot of the um, religious types on this continent, instead of actual gods and deities, it's more... They put their faith in primordial spirits of fire and just water. Slowly and... take the tear out of my pocket and put it in the palm of my hand. And just kind of look at it as this, <laughs> as this conversation unfolds. Um, elemental in in in, in nature. Um, there's earth Ganassi, there's fire Ganassi, air Ganassi, <laughs> air. Mm. So I, I'm I'm familiar with with your kind at least. I've I've, I've seen him before. It's just. Something about you, just you don't, you don't, I don't know. Well, I, I was I'm, the, I'm sure that might be because of the, the region you're from or whatever. You know, I was the only variety. Ganassi where I came from, so I don't know a lot about them. Mm. Wait. Or, no customs. Were you not? And excuse me if I'm. <coughs> I, I think we'll have this talk in private, uh, actually. Unless you don't mind me asking your ears off. Yeah, I don't mind. Were you born a Ganassi, or was this something that happened to you? I, I was born one. Um, okay. my, my father was a Ganassi, but I never met him. Wait, people can turn into Ganassi? Oh yeah. I've seen it happen multiple times. It's when um, humans, for instance, um, get overloaded with elemental magic or energy and it, it changes them, alters their body, and their they turn into Ganassi. Slowly oh, putting the stone oh, back in your pocket. <laughs> that's that's uh, pretty fun, fucking cool. Fun fact: that is how Kisaren's father became a Ganassi. He was mm. not born one. Okay. Back mm -hmm. in the day. Who's Kisaren? <laughs> I could just speak. Off camera. That was just I an off camera know. tidbit. For fun Holy times. shit, she it's can very speak. Easy, it's very easy to tell when it's an off, an, an out of character yeah. bit because you speak. Yeah. <laughs> True. So. True. And Kiss isn't talking. And um, as really you kind of. It's, uh, it's more small talk. Uh, pers uh, pers uh, pers pursues. But uh, after a little oh. while, Siren kind of does the old. Uh, stretch and gets up and I, uh, I'm going to retire to our room for the night but uh, thank you for being You're nice and showing me new experiences That's first time happen. dancing interesting mm. and um, try not to make too much noise when you get in the room please I think any of us will promise that but <laughs> I'll um, retiring soon at some point now Jax, uh, I'll be silent. You, 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 you seem like a man of in, uh, scientific in, inquiry. <laughs> I am. You seem like the sort of man who wouldn't be afraid to risk a, a little something in the interest of of knowledge. Well, I did stumble through bushes and get attacked by crocodiles, so I would say so. <laughs> Not your smartest move, I have to say. Well, okay, the bushes were very thick, and I tripped, mm -hmm. and... Uh, yeah. It's getting used to... Uh, Jack, you're getting used to a new armor, correct? Yes, of course. Okay. It's okay, armor. Jax. Yes. It, it happens. Thank you, Alaska. It happens to everyone at least once. Does it? I don't usually have performance problems. <laughs> if... <laughs> it's okay, if I, we if can I, try I, again I tomorrow. You. I'm sure there's a pill for it. <laughs> Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> This is why his wife isn't Let's here see. anymore. What am I rolling wow. for? What? <laughs> she wants to insight you not normally having performance. It's in that one, dude. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Uh. Uh, well, I got like a dirty 20, so. Castle Forever does, believes does, Jack's does performance Jack's issues. Jack's have other performance ways. issues. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in a what area? <laughs> All of them. All of them. And Whatever area, the area he meant. Tinkering? When... Not usually. Unless it's. I mean, everyone fucks up, right? Whatever Everybody has meant, those days. 
Everywhere else, yeah. Dude. What area was Jack's Problem. talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I just made the comment be funny. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> right. Why was it funny? We're free to draw our own conclusions out of this. I draw my own conclusion. Um, yeah. <clears throat> as, I was, as I was saying, so <sighs> I have this gemstone and basically, apparently, if you if someone were to touch it, they might burst into flames. And I was wondering if you wanted to put it to the test? You mean, might? God, dude, I'm so torn right now. <laughs> well, maybe it just a, just a touch. I, I, I'm not afraid. Well, I Throw me the to rock. intensify it first. Throw me the rock. I ain't no bitch. <laughs> I don't throw him the rock. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I could try to identify it first. Uh, can you do that without touching it? You have to touch it. Where did, where did you, you get this thing? Just shot it off. You must touch it out the kind of spell. Uh, well, I will put it to the test while casting the spell. How about that? I. I got this in the temple where we fought them. And we have a Lazarin. Is that why you knew your way around the temple so well? Ash, right. Robert? Um, I grab a, do you have a bucket of water anywhere just in case? Why? We should probably do this in outside. the bath. In the bath? That's Well, yeah, if you burst into flames, we're already in the... Yeah, yeah. we're going to burn down the bath. I, How I do you burn not... down a bathhouse? <laughs> I just signed a cast. <clears throat> well, how, how come he hasn't already burst into flame if he holds the stone? Diagon wants to know why you haven't burst into flames if you're holding the stone right now. Well, that's why I need to put it to the test because he said, I'm holding it. I was holding it when he told me, but so it doesn't really make sense. But he really didn't want to touch it. Do you want it? Nope, I don't have that period of hey, Who's he? Can I incite that? No, Nuxar, the Temple of uh -huh. Sethkar. You showed it to the sketchy snake priest before any of us. He was the one who told me about it when we first went over there. Did he also tell so you, you knew about this going Let me try identifying this, and I will pull out You were a... there when I asked him. No, I mean, like, you really me? knew where you were going. Before we set off for Sek Thar, I asked Nuxar, in the presence of everyone, about... No, 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 no. I stoned. I think Kess is asking about traveling in Getting the, the stone. Temple. No, like, oh. like, inside. Oh, that was... No, I mean, that's just... I've been in these places before with the lodge and stuff. They tend to lay them out very the similarly. They leave certain tells for, you know, newer individuals in the in the tribe to learn. But they're quite difficult to spot if you don't know what you're looking for. Ah, like thieves do. Sure. Yeah, like thieves do. I'm gonna pull out this sense. fucking massive book, like, uh -huh. you know, like that thick, big maybe. fucking book. It's a big fucking book. Like, mm -hmm. all right, I can try to see if it's in this book, and I may be able to identify it. Okay, so apparently it's called Kosuth's Tear. Okay. What? And I will take the next minute of touching and looking through my book, casting identify. Duke, can you spell that and put it in the group? Wait, chat? what is this book? So cool. He's but casting that's identify. Just me flavoring identify. Okay, okay, right, 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 right. Um, His yeah. identify is looking it up. I tried to think chance. of a good way to do it. His identify. Oh, it's a magic book. It just it does comes identify, up. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. But does identify require you to touch the object that you're identifying? Yes. So I will touch it. As soon as you touch it. Oh no. Your hand just immediately like. Why are we not in the bath? Surrounded by flames, and that kind of causes uh. you to to drop the gem, and the flames immediately douse. Uh, you do take. Wait, did it Okay, I was about to say it hurt. Five points of fire damage. Okay. Okay. I will muck on his hand, and I'll just like, I'll kill with it. And I'm assuming because of that, I'm not able to, be able to identify it. it. Uh, 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 tricky. Your spell you, slot gets you, fucked. Uh, you you heal for nine. Um, so perfect. Okay. I'm back to full. Yeah. <laughs> I like I like just like yeah, see is, your bone hand. I'm like no no no. That is spell slot gone. Uh, spell failed. Yes. Um. If, okay. Well, okay, so maybe that holds. Can you maybe we take that? What if we touched it underwater? Else. No, I was 
I was going to say, why don't you touch it like with something over your hand and see if then... it still burns? Well, not necessarily yeah. casting the spell, but just to pick it up. Yeah, can you like put it in a cloth? All right. And then you I can maybe cast a spell on it. So my that. gauntlet. Ooh. I fucking tap my wrist and I'll try to pick it up. Ooh. Ooh. I dropped it again. Okay. You take another three points of fire damage as your hand just starts oh, okay. burning and cooking inside of your gauntlet. I think I think we should stop touching it. Okay. Davian, put it in the water. I will or the water, surely. Is is there a bucket? I'll go get a bucket of water from Robert. And I will well, I guess we put the bucket in the middle of the table. Mm -hmm. And I drop the stone into the bucket. First of all, does anything happen when I drop the stone into the bucket? Yes. The water splits, separates, <laughs> avoiding contact with the tear. Oh. oh. Wait, does that mean the bucket lights on fire? No. No, it just... Oh, okay. The water doesn't evaporate. It repels it, the water. Yeah. It repels oh, it. Even... It just repels oh. the water. Now this is interesting. Well, this is the way I'll find. I'm just now trying. I'm, I'm just thinking of ways to wreck on the bath now oh. because I must have been stood with a, <laughs> a moat. <laughs> there, was a little, there was a little gap around you. There's just like a. Did hole. you take I it into the bath? It would be in your belongings. Oh, it would have been in my clothes. Right, it would have been in my clothes, clothes, of course. Right, yeah. 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 So yeah. nobody wants to know how he carried it into the bath. <laughs> yeah, right. Like up his ass. Very <laughs> 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 clean. <Nature's> pocket. <laughs> yeah, you see that it just it just rejects any contact with the water. Okay, so the water experiment isn't going to work, and I'll pluck okay, it back so out. It's the, it's the what? Kossuth's tear, I think. Actually, I, I think okay. I'm a bit bored at this point. I'll leave you all to it, and I'm going to go get another drink. Oh, I'll come. I'm going to go with. No, no, this is very okay. interesting now. D do you know what it's supposed to be used for, or... Oh, I want to try. Is. I want to try something. I tap um, Davian, and I pop out my spectral arms again, and then oh, hold a spectral oh. arm towards him. Oh no! My Discord froze for a sec. I will place it in the palm of a spectral hand. Okay. And no one takes force damage because I choose who I want for to the, damage uh, with the arms. For the purposes of this, I'm gonna need you to uh, like: Are these arms part of you? Um, let me check the the flavor text. Yeah. It says your mastery of your key allows you to summon a portion of your astral self. So okay. it is not a so, physical yes, part of me, but, but it's very linked much to the still spiritual part of, you part as a of person. me. Yeah, your astral self yeah. about to get burned. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. Even though it's your an astral, astral, self astral, self astral hand, your actual arm immediately gets surrounded by flames, causing you to kind so of immediately reflex drop it. Drop it. Yeah. Um, and I hiss, I, I hiss. You only take one point of fire damage, though. Hey. That shit's fucking cursed. I don't want anything so, to do with that. Oh no, there's still a lot of science to be done here. According to uh, Luxar, this uh, is some relic of some elemental being. Who? Apparently there are three of them. And I roughly know where the one of the other two is. Is now a quick question: Is it of the same being these relics, or three different beings? I think all three of this fiery hmm. Hmm. being. Day Do any of us know who Kosuth is? Or tower the fuck you say? Uh, for the purpose of this, I'd say uh, you probably not, because you I hate think, religion. Yeah, so would I, I have heard of? Um, oh, I'll go Sorry. with whoever has spent more. Been five years on the continent. Roll a religion check. Then not us. Ah, uh, uh, five years. I mean, me is, it, but I already kind of know, yeah, so I guess there's no know. reason for me to roll. Yeah. And I don't think I should roll because I just don't care about. I feel religion. like Elasmus yeah. probably been around five years, yeah, that, that or longer. Uh, Damn, my religion is actually good too. Thirty twenty. Thirty twenty. Um, yeah, I mean, you've heard Kosuth of Kosuth before, uh, an elemental, uh, like a primordial being, um, ruler of the elemental plane of fire. That's really all you know, like globally, you don't know the fire, the intricacies of him, you, you know that powerful elemental 
gets regarded as somewhat of a deity, but isn't actually a, like an actual god. Just the power, the most powerful fire elemental. Therefore, he's the one in charge. Kind of that kind of thing. Um, um, you also know that uh, not evil, not good. Just kind of does his own thing and has a has its own has his own personal agenda and does whatever the fuck he likes, really. <clears throat> well, good news is it's not an inherently evil creature, but uh, wildly renowned, not not of the Divine Gate, but wildly renowned to some as being a powerful being, if you believe in the elements and worship in that way. Jax very much is in your theory of, you know, divine beings just being powerful entities. This is one of those such occasions where you happen to be correct. Just a powerful entity. Well, I'm correct most of the time, I would say. Okay. Mostly 92% of the time. That's a very interesting count. 92%, but we're not going to that. Well, well, the other 8% are just things that I have not encountered. Fair. Given uh, what Nuxar told me, the connection with the elemental worlds or something mm. on this continent in particular is quite... Mm. Strong. Maybe that's why the Ganassi also exist here. As it much as they sense. do. As much as I can, from what I remember from teachings and just learning about this place, it doesn't seem to be... Have it, uh, it has its own agenda. I say we, we approach with caution, but if it's something you want to follow... How do, is it in another temple? Oh, wouldn't you? I mean... Well, I have my own faith. I'm, I'm well, sure it does set people on fire. Right, so. we've it's seen it. But if you're the one that's immune, exactly, doesn't that, doesn't that lead you to be caught? Doesn't that lead you to be a? Uh, Couldn't that curious? also be a bad thing? Oh, it could be horrific. We have no idea, but it's definitely different. Like, what if his spirit possesses you? Oh, well, um, that's uh, that we'll does sound that, bad. We'll quite literally burn that bridge when we get to it. But uh, it, surely, if he wants, if he wanted or to possess me, or whatever, I bridge, mean... air it, I don't, smother it, and uh, we'll figure it out. Is, is it like an oil fire where you just like put the top of the pen? You have to put on it. Put the pen. Yeah, just, just cut the pen. oxygen. Oh, so anyway, um, <laughs> we're getting distracted, anyway. Jax. No, 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 hang on. Uh, it's, like, it's not a lantern. Another time. Another it? time. I'm, <laughs> actually, I'm, I don't know if you have like a uh, a picture of this thing, Dutch, but it, does its design lend itself to any? It, is it? Uh, you said it's tear shaped. Yeah. Are we talking like so it has like a tail that points a certain direction, or is it like uh like a perfect teardrop? Yeah. It's kinda like um honestly. <clears throat> you ever uh fuck, hold on. You ever fuck? You ever fuck? You ever fuck dude? No. Um Not me. Hold on. Let me quickly just fucking it is almost kind of like, um, fuck me, this is difficult to explain. Hmm. It's shaped like a teardrop. It has that shape, but it's very, it's very rigid around the edges. It's is not it like symmetrical? A... Yes, but it does have like on both sides kind of like, instead of just being like smooth, it's more like, hmm. like, like rigid. Oh, jagged. Yeah. Jagged, yes, that's a better word. Better Serrated. Word I'm just thinking, so, okay, wait, wait, wait. If it's jagged on either side, mm -hmm. if some, you think, like, something else could fit in, like, puzzle pieces, if something with equally jagged edges, or is it, like, like, does it look like the centerpiece of a trio of tears? Do they fit together somehow? Do they match somehow? <laughs> is it a necklace? <laughs> Interesting. Um, I'll just tell we don't have another piece. Make an intelligence check. Oh, God. There's a check I don't win. Oh, especially if I throw my fucking die on the floor. Yeah, don't do that. Oh, uh, intelligence, intelligence, intelligence plus two. 17. You're not sure, um, if that is exactly what it is, but it, 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 okay. it it's design. Um, could, could potentially like they could potentially fit into each other if the you know jagged ridges on the other ones like are made to fit. But you're not sure. You're gonna have to find another one to test I the guess, theory. I guess 
a better question would be, does it look like it's been broken, or do they look like uniform? Uh, they look uniform enough for you to conclude that this probably okay. isn't, isn't broken into pieces. It's, it's, yeah. it's made this way. By design, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, well, it seems like we're sort of done with the whole Jeremiah business. Um, and I believe we're not f too far from St Streatham, Streatham, Streatham. It's northwest of here along the coastline. Um, probably a fairly short, uh, northwest of Elderlon, sorry, not northwest of here. So when we get back to Elderlon, well, it would be especially helpful, Kess, if we could make use of the horse and cart, so having you along at the very least would be great, but I'm, if, if... This is at the bar. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I, would be, I mean, I mean, I'm there, and I um, also helped acquire said horse and cart. So. No one knows that though, because Kess is the only one who's really it. communicated. I the it. Back. Kess, Kess did say oh. both of them. Oh, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> I watched the. Yeah, no, no, fair, fair. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa, whoa. <laughs> the, the the horse, the the horse and cart, at the very least, would be nice to get from Eldalon to there if we want to keep a lot of our belongings. So, Dagon and well, hopefully Kess as well. Well, I can always stuff them in my bag. So you'd like to come? Well, I don't really have anything else going on. Why I mean, not? You know me. As long as I'm not needed elsewhere, we're going to be spending a little bit of time in Eldalon. I've got Plus, I would up. like to see what these do. I did promise Sarah I'd show her around and give her the ropes of the city, so that might be a little who, while. Who among our party has shown that they have a map before? Okay, who carries one? Fabian. I carry one as well. Do either okay. of you, if you have one visible, like on your belt, can I, I? Do either of you have a visible, or is it like? Oh, no, it's in my, it's my bag. But yeah, it'll be in my backpack probably. But I, oh I, no, 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 no! I've, I've got mine out pretty much on the table because oh. I'm looking at where this fucking town is. So okay, yeah. um, I point, I take your map and I roll it out. And I point to Southwold mm -hmm. and hold up one finger, mm -hmm. and then I point to the place you want to go and hold mm -hmm. up two fingers. I'm going to assume Southwold first, then Stratham. And I nod, yes. Well, we do oh. need to stop at Eldalon for our. Yeah, we, we do. We so we'll pass, we'll pass through Southwold on the way back, unless mm -hmm. we need to go out of our way back to Southwold. I nod and point at the second, uh, the second part of your sentence. To be fair, Devin, we do have, maybe, if the general has any more information about those mysterious fires, well, mysterious fires, those fires, those arsonists, we may have business in Southwold as well. I would venture a guess and say that Streatham's probably in their catchments, given, I think they said pretty generally that a lot of territory just north of Eldalon was yeah. Surrounding experiencing Eldalon. it, Surrounding so it might be worth checking out. Well. Still, we can see what information the general has about anything. Yeah, Apparently I think, I think we, we, we can stay a time. And I, I, I don't feel there's any pressing time component here. I just, I know where my next move will be once we've sort of done with everything. But if Diagon needs to go to Southwold, and I imagine that keeping Diagon means keeping Kess, and keeping Diagon and Kess means keeping the cart, and if I can't be fucked walking, it'd be really nice to have the cart. So <laughs> probably be nice to have them around as well. Yeah, the only outlier here is Brooks. But I'm sure he'll well, pull in money. Isn't he a sure thing with Jax? You know, because of the whole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm currently ordering drinks. For me and Kess, and, and only me and would... Kess. And if he wasn't, he would talk back. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only because of that. So, I'm not going uh, right, like, In the meantime, what's happening at the bar? Alright, well. Uh, are you ordering your own or am I ordering again? You, uh, you order for me again. The pog. I feel like every time the Fey Wilds come up, you've shown an interest in that, didn't you? Can you mention something? Yes, my my dad, dad was a researcher. I thought you mentioned that, but I. Okay, well, I will get myself. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll have a. Just have a, a splinter to a tail. I will right. get you a fey flower. So Ooh. I've just got a, a like a strong, like a quite a strong ale, and you have a very dry white wine that has like an edible uh, sugar crystallized flower in the top. Wow. 
Mm-hmm. Megan, you pay extra no, for flower. having me make one of those fucking flowers. Oh. I had to do the entire thing a long time ago. Trust me, I've been there. No, making you pay uh, extra because uh, it's getting late. Uh, five silver will do. For the I'll give him two gold. Oh, well. Trust me, I don't know how much fucking Jesus. bitch those things are. The craftsmanship oh. for the flower. Fuck, it's that shit. I fucking relate to that. Well, my are guy. you guys going to be sticking around down here for much longer? Because I also kind of like to, you know, close up shop and. I know, I was just about to get to right. bed myself. It's a week night after all. And, you know. Uh, I don't know, we'll, I would just make our way and I'll like start. Just right. like brush off the table, stand up. And... Jim, here's the fucking left of a meeting. College it's band it. playing one last song before they fuck off oh, as well, or? Oh, they fucked off already. You've been sitting yeah. here. You're like, as the, we're the, the last table. Dancing, we're the last, we're table. those guys. It's been hours. Like, it's, it's yeah. like yeah. one, two a.m. Well, last call. Yeah. We're the ones playing Secret Hitler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. After everyone else has left. Setting things on fire unintentionally. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> Setting each other on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, uh, unless there's anything more you wish to discuss with each other, uh, we'll say that this is where you call it for the night. Wake up the next day in the same room. Um, I would like to do something before. Okay. Tomorrow. Um, I want to disappear into my vessel and see if I can get Blue to appear for me. Oh. Okay. Shit. We need uh, to deafen. Is this a deafen moment? Probably. So I'd say this is yeah, a deafen moment. Oh, right, fuck right, you right, guys right. having secrets. <laughs> yeah, fuck all y'all. Give me a second, give me a second while I... All right. Um... What do you do to try and get his attention? Uh, I'm basically like shouting out while I'm in the vessel. Mm -hmm. Cause that's usually how it works, I guess. As you kind of shout, just blue yeah. in your vessel, this like cloud of blue smoke appears and in front of you appears this broad chested uh, blue genie gin if you will. Uh, two scimitars down its, by, by, his, by his waist. Uh, various markings, like elemental markings across his chest and up, his, up the sides of his face to his temples. And this like very, very um, kind of like wild, unkempt black hair. There's no need to shout, is there? I don't know how far away you are. I haven't seen you in a while. I keep busy. What can I say? True, true. What's um, up? One of my new friends has this this gemstone called a uh, Kalsuth's Tear. Oh, really? Now, and he didn't set himself on fire with it? No, apparently he's immune. Although my other friend did set mm. himself on fire a couple of times. Immune, you say? Yeah, he seems to be fine. <laughs> but it seems to me that my pal Kasuth has found himself a new contender. A contender? Kasuth is, um... He's not a genie. He's more like, uh big, powerful fire lord. Quite a big mm. deal in the events of fire, but, um, me and him, we, we, we've spent some, some nights having some drinks together, talking about our, our businesses, and, um, Kosuth takes on an apprentice from time to time, and whenever one apprentice goes, a new one must follow in, in that, that apprentice's shoes. It seems that that time has come. It seems that he's have his, has his eyes set on your friend. What does he need an apprentice for? Well, I give you gifts, right? Keep you out That's of trouble, true. allow you to cast some spells, and, and all of that. Kosuth will bestow this similar um, gift 
to your friend, to his apprentice, if that is what he's chosen to do, and in exchange, well, he must first show his, show his worth, or his, 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 um, what do you say, his, he must show that he's worthy, hence he's collecting the tears. And when Kasuth looks for an apprentice, that means he has big plans. Plans that could, um, change your friend's life. Does it matter if we help him get the tears? Well, he's the only one that can touch him, right? So. True. I don't think it's, it's, he'll mind him getting help. It's all about, you know, figuring out how to get to him is the real test. Hence why, you know, the first one was being guarded by a Hydra. Oh yeah, that was really fun. I was watching. I still have his head. <laughs> why am I surprised? <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Um, no, I think that's it. Alright. Have a good night. Night. And this, like, blue cloud, just like, poof. And then I'll <clears throat> long rest. Bonjour, mon ami. Five oh, minutes bonjour. of bullying your best friend. <laughs> we back. We yeah. back. Um, yeah, there, there's anyone too much else want to do something before it's bedtime? I want to talk no. to my god. <sighs> Me? <laughs> oh, my <God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Next to time, he's a fucking worshiper of the god. Back no, he, he worships like a really mm. cool. Oh, I no. Would like everyone else to death, and but I'm oh, gonna have a little thing. Oh, I didn't even ask for this one. No, nope, you didn't. Damn oh, you. boy. Mm. As you try to go to sleep, you wake up in the middle of the night in a room covered by flames. Your friends are gone. Okay. And you uh, hear a voice. It seems we have curious cats. Uh, I can. I don't suppose you could. You could blame me, or my companions. Your friend, Kessler. What Kess? is she called? Kess. Mm -hmm. Let's say she and you share similar fates. Her friend Blue. Her. And it seems she asked Blue about me. And Blue may have overshared a little bit. Don't be surprised if you get some questions. But this is good. She seems interested in helping you find the rest of my team. The next one's quite a doozy. You'll need all the help you can get. Well, keep that in mind. Also, Stop fucking with my tears in public. <laughs> right, you are. Do this for me. Find my tears. It'll be worth your while. What comes after Streatham? In due time. Who is blue? Doesn't look to me. Elemental creature. He's the J. G. Blue. And and you're just well, oh. an elemental lord. 
Fire Lord. Fire, Fire Lord. Every title's name is Fire Lords. What I prefer. Now, I'm feeling this won't be the last time we run into one another. No, it will not. You've proven yourself quite capable. I hit my chin behind a hydro. Found it. And killed my hydro. Just so we're clear, I'm going to be a bit more transparent with you. These gems, I choose where to hide them. I purposely placed them behind the hydro because I wanted to test your skills. Pass them first test. More follow. Keep in mind, wow. it doesn't matter how. You get a hold of the gems. It's all that you do. Am I the only one who can touch them? Who can. <laughs> no. There's other contenders. How many? Find out. I'm up to the challenge. I just hope that my companions are as well. Just like you said, Essen is interested. If her dragon seems a pretty sure deal. Lazarin seems pretty keen to go wherever you want to go as long as it means you finishing up the business you have first. Jackson Brooks. Then I suppose all there is to do now is to go after them. There's no rush. Oh, man. Because even if someone else beats you to a gemstone, you have to find a way to take it from them. Or for them the to take it from me. When one person is acquired possession of all three gemstones at the same time. As long as you hold one, it just keeps going. Could you... Could you put this on a chain for me? The only person I know who might be able to do that is a Lazarin, and he won't be able to touch the, the thing. <clears throat> There's some way you could just, so I could wear it around my neck or, or something. So far, this has only been like a voice you hear, no like physical manifestation, but somebody from like the frames before you, a red and orange arm appears. Oh. Like, reaching, like, with his palm, and like, waiting for you to give him the gem. Oh, I put the I put the gem in his palm. He closes his fist and then opens it again, and it is now attached to like a governmental like chain. And it's about to. It has to. It's kind of like attracts his arm. The arm just goes back into the flame and it disappears. Mm -hmm. It becomes one with the flame wall again. Oh, I just realized I get my fucking voice went off this entire way. Yeah, well, I thought there was going to be more. I thought there was going to be more dialogue, so I was like, oh, I'm sure he's just sticking yeah, it out. Yeah, no, no, I just forgot to spoke. Oh, no. So, like I said, this is one. So, the race will only be over if someone finds all three. Therefore, as long as you possess one, the race keeps going. It ends with a into account. Planning your you know, activities. Could be a strategy, you know? Waiting for someone to find the other two and find you and take it from them. In many ways, I think my test. What's the reward? What's the meaning of all this? I require an apprentice. I've always had an apprentice. When one apprentice falls, no, the mistake is place. I put out his tests, hands pick a few, 
people that I think would be up for the task. As my apprentices, you gain boons, powers, is in exchange. I require my apprentice to do a task for me. A job, if you will. All right. I've... Unless there's more for you to ask of me, I well, believe I know. I know everything there is to know about you. I just figured I'd give you a heads up so just before your friend Kes. Kes. I was asking questions. Crash your thought. I give you a heads up. I appreciate the heads up. It's interesting to me that you and this blue are closely acquainted. We are... Uh, there's a war eons ago across the Atlantic Plains, and me and this blue, as she calls him, um, often the same thing. Do me a favor. You seem to have devious tricks through. Call a castle, says she reacts. You know, it's interesting you should say that. I almost thought you read my mind because that was one of the first things that came to my mind the moment you mentioned it. Great minds. All right. Like I said, one down, two to go. I will avoid burning my friends with the tear. Good. And, um, well, I don't suppose I could really ask you to keep me safe, but uh, you seem to know a lot more than I do. I'm sure you have your ways of communicating, but... Let's just say that you've proven your worth by finding one of my gems and playing it. So I'll be a little bit more open to conversation. And I'll do my best to comply, I suppose. <laughs> well, I suppose you don't have a favorite in this race. No, but, but it is between three gems. I sh I have a good feeling. I have a good feeling. So the others. Although you are also ahead. You are the first one to claim gem. Precisely. Precisely. And I believe that I can do it without any unnecessary bloodshed. Pretty good. Well, thank you for appearing, uh, communicating. Like I said, you've proven worth my time by claiming one of my tears. Well, I have now determined that if I do it so, I can afford spending a little more time and more conversations with you than just the ominous one down, two to go. Let's get to all three, three words, sort of, yeah. Yes. Perhaps one day well, I can show you what I look like, but we'll keep that for the next time. Keep it interesting. I can't, uh, well, I can't imagine what a being of eternal, primordial, and elemental fire looks like, so I honestly, strangely look forward to it. I know the gemstone, and perhaps, who knows? All right, off with you. And, uh... You kind of, like, blink, and suddenly it is morning, and you wake up with your compatriots in your room. Oh, I guess that's a... Ooh. <clears throat> First, we were fucking dead. Yeah. Hi, Dad. No. Did no we just dead. get sacrificed to some fucking fire no, no. elemental? Um, Are we on fire? As you all awaken, we wake up. it is uh, a new day. You're in New Darmouth, and I suggest we end it here and pick it up uh, yeah. here. I'm feeling next good. Week. Sorry, boys. It's all, all good. It's, all good. it's, all it's good. been four okay. hours. It's been four hours. So, yeah, exactly. So we'll pick us up next week. Some some juicy Whoa, guys. Imagine having there. fucking. Five minutes of secrets with Bell and then like ten. Maybe I got through two YouTube videos. Excuse me. 
man. Imagine having character secrets, you guys. Fringe. Actual Imagine fringe. having all the juice and no substance, honestly. <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? You aren't reading chat. I have chat, no fine. idea. Okay. All the juice, no substance. Yeah. All right. Thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks for playing. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll be back on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. For session eight. For the second yeah. leg of, of travel back to Eldilon. Ooh, baby. And, uh, well, tomorrow, I mean, right? some more, you know, fucking character developments, party, getting to know each other a little bit more and all that good stuff. And showing Whoop. Sirin, you know, the way of the non yuan really. That's I want to dig lesson. into Daigon, but I haven't really had this. Well, that's a bit violent. <laughs> we got time. We Only got travel time. Well, we've, we've got next session's a travel Ooh. session, though. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I think we all have shit that we want to do and ask each other. And mm. yeah, next. But you, one you thing, Brooks has got to address the fucking rumor that so. Jack's so. owns him. And but I'm but actually here for multiple sessions in a row, guys. Yes. Shit. I, I think we all are, right? No no yeah. plans. No, I think so, yeah. It's gonna be a beautiful yeah. few weeks. The only yeah, at least the next four weeks. I so. need to figure out, I need to talk to my family. There's the weekend of October tenth, eleventh, twelfth. I don't know about the twelfth. It depends what Thanksgiving plans are, because that's Thanksgiving in Canada. Because Canadians right. have it Weirdos. in October. So I need to check. But I hopefully will still be here. Because I'm hoping we can do it on Saturday. Maybe. Oh, I don't have Thanksgiving hey, on with, without Thursday. revealing anything to the other members of the party, I have a very have a bad feeling about this. So you have to sacrifice <laughs> one of us. Who's it going to be? Why do you have a bad feeling? Yeah, Jax. Absolutely, Jax. I don't think Just, it would be Jax. I feel I don't like the. Uh, uh, I don't like the dynamic that I. Think you don't like the form. vibe. A bit of a as a result of what is happening right now. Doesn't pass the vibe check. Bad vibes. Bad vibes. All right, Bad vibes. Out. Fair enough, fair enough. Bad All right. vibes! All right. It's good having you back, Soko. Peace out, gamers. Dude. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Everything. Bye, everyone. Sweet. Thanks again we'll for that see you raid. tomorrow. Appreciate you. Tell your friends about Dungeon Select. If you know any nerdy friends, tell them to follow the channel. We'll, we'll be live here tomorrow with uh, Baldur's Gate or Divinity. Good night, everybody. Take care. See you next time. Bye. 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 All right, bye, guys.